Shalom. Shalom. May the real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in and week out. Prophet Son of the Eternal Most High and His Heavenly Son. First and foremost, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honest to the apostles out of New York, the great millstone with GMS. Honest to all I came around the planet, looking up the name of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Truth and sincerity. Alright? No further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. Uh, I'm going to forward with the brother in one second. He has something he's going to lead off with, in the spirit. Just, you know, we, right when we're getting ready to start, you know, right here we've got the, you know, uh, the streets and the, the traffic. And the uh, light was red. And with the turning lane almost open, but a car was blocking with this female trying to get to the turning lane. And uh, she blew the horn. He didn't respond. She blew the horn again. He didn't respond. He said she started laying on the horn. She didn't. He didn't respond. So by the time the light changed, we move up. Uh, she goes around, cuts in front of him, stops the car, and gets like you know, in her retaliation and shit. Like that's gonna do something. And then the time that we're about to live in, that woman will be pulled out her car and killed. Yeah. Okay. All right. This, this we're about to get to. This is a, this is a cautionary tale to start off. Get out of your flesh. Get out of your ego. All right. Get out of your goddamn. I need to get my lick back. That's right. Yeah, how about you, Yahshua? It's gonna get our lick back. Be humble. Then we're about to enter into some rotten, some crazy times. All right? right. And that was just indicative how that she do that to the wrong motherfucker. He gonna he gonna just start light up the car. Ra -ra -ra -ra, and it's done. But what is it? Was it that serious? that you couldn't get him to move up 10 inches so you can get to the turning lane so you can make a fucking turn. And if you know time and travel, if uh, two, if we, we're going from south side to downtown, all right, and say it was 10 miles, if this brother drove at 70 miles an hour and I drove at 60 miles an hour, how far, how fast is he going to beat me to that spot? How long? Somebody just get <clears throat> 10 minutes, maybe. 5 minutes, yeah, maybe. Five minutes. Maybe. 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 Excuse me? Maybe. It would be maybe. within less than one maybe. or two minutes. Yeah, yeah one or two minutes. Maybe. It would be less than one or two you know, minutes, brother. Not, not, not much of a difference. In order to get 10 minutes time, he he, he, he went, I would have, he would have started right there and I got to start 10 minutes away. Maybe 8 minutes away going in the slower speed. That's how you can't make up. Jake is so impatient. Jake is just so, everybody's on edge. This is just the, the situation is right for destruction. That's why the hopeful righteous elect, we have to keep our spirits in check. Now you want to be, you know, yourself and vent and, and you know, throw your temper tantrum. The scripture says uh, the righteous complain continue. Right? So do it to the Lord. Do it to the brothers. Man, I'm sick this motherfucker. This is what the big sign is. I'll beat that motherfucker down. I'll fuck them up. I hate that motherfucker. Do it to the brother so he can sign and cry with you. But leave these motherfuckers alone. Uh, All right? Man. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it's a uh, uh, Barak chapter 28 and verse, I'll start verse 10. It says, as a matter of the fire is, so it burneth, and as a man's strength is, so is his wrath. In accordance with his riches, his anger riseth, and the stronger they are which contend, the more they will be inflamed. It says, verse 11, in hasty contention, kindleth a fire in a hasty fight. Shed a flood, and then the hell just went inside of you. You are impatient, man. The second to the third chapter is thinking about how the people are going to be heady. I went into that word and meant rash, not thinking before they do so, man. And they was going to just experience that right here, man. You know? That's what it's going to make not hasten the time. Make not hasten the time of trouble. All right? So that means when you see, I get angry too. And I'm not going to, I ain't going to act like, you know, brothers who know me, they know me. I got a lamp with it. Call me there, right? <laughs> but and and if somebody do something, I might. I usually get up. I usually try to go fast and get out of the jam. But if I have to, I'll slow down. Like, go, 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 you know. And on that note, Elder, coming to uh, uh, coming across Foster, instead of being at the light and ready to make that left as the arrow came, I happened to be back some. So as I was coming forward, hit the brakes just in time because here come Miss. Ain't seen nothing but a red light, but still coming anyway. It shot through, and my brother was just like, "Man, if you'd have been up a little more, you'd have been out there, and I'd have been in his lap." See, that's what, that's, that's what so that's the spirit the coming. Yep. Yes, yes. Right, so I just want to put the little preamble to start it because that the energy that was happening as we was getting ready to start, we was actually coming from one laughing vibration to a stupid dumbass bitch vibration. Ain't no sense. So 
just keep your spirits intact because it's gonna be crazy out there. But uh, go ahead, brother. I know the brother got something. This uh, Ezekiel 24 and 6. It says, Wherefore thus said the Lord Yahweh, Woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein, and whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring it out piece by piece, let no lot fall upon it. Exactly, all right. And that bloody city is talking about America, okay? That's right, that's right. All right, and this place is uh, full of scum, man. It's that pot that's full of scum. And the Lord said, you know, take it basically out bit by bit. And that's what the Lord is doing right now, okay? You know, very, very soon, in the next, you know, coming weeks, months, hey, we're about to enter into a new phase, man, okay? Hey, you, you got the, was it the, uh, was it the Central Bank, uh, is it C, uh, CBDC, all right? That's gonna uh, uh, come into effect in December, all right? That's gonna start eliminating cash. You know, it, uh, well, it's already, they've already been eliminating cash, but it's gonna, uh, 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 speed it up, man. It's gonna speed up the process, okay? And we all know that's gonna um, push the uh, the era of Karagma, the Revelation 13 and 16, okay? All right. And hey, you got uh, starting July 1st. We all know about this, the purge laws. Okay. Oh, it's like January. Excuse me, January 1st. All right. 2023. You got the purge laws that are gonna come into effect. So that's gonna um. Uh, what? Act. Yeah, the safety act. All right. You know that the the, uh, the, a the actual and literal um, laws, uh, the law, uh, the law of it. Okay. Yeah, but they're calling it the purge uh, uh, laws too, man, because hey, people who are doing violent crimes are going to be uh, let go basically without cash bail. All right. You know. You know a lot of shit's happening. Hey, you got World War Three building up right now, man. That's gonna change your life. Gas is gonna go, uh, skyrocket, which that means food is gonna skyrocket. The cost of living is gonna skyrocket. Okay? Hey, they, the dollar is dwindling. It's fading away. So a lot of shit's happening. So uh, a women like that, man, that just bypassed, they, 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 they were in that impatient spirit. All right, they think they're fucking tough when they're really not. That's right. Hey, they're gonna get stomped the fuck out in the streets, man. All right. Uh -huh. they, they're gonna be made an example. And a lot of you women are gonna see that shit and you're gonna start uh, uh, becoming females again. You're gonna be quiet, you're not gonna be talking shit soon. <laughs> this is Ezekiel 12 and verse 26. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Verse 28, therefore say unto them, thus saith Yahweh power, there shall none of my words be more and more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, save Yahweh power, man, and they will see how the Heavenly Father is causing all these things to happen so that he, so his uh, prophecies can take place. You know, a hey, Revelation 13, you know, a hey, all these, uh, all these banks going digital, man. I had a, I had to get a new bank card. I had to order a new bank card a few weeks ago. Every time I put it in there, to put the chip in there, and the shit doesn't work. So they say, just tap it, man. Yeah. It's getting more mm -hmm. uh, accustomed to just tapping stuff, man. You know, the elder was going in on, uh, hey, hey, the junkies, the and so forth. Hey, all this week, it's been nothing but, in, in New York, you had a uh, you had a woman that got found in a suitcase. It was a whole deal, a boyfriend did it. A bro posted a video of a woman saying a dude was just, uh, basically a rascal. He told her, he tried to hop down on it, but he told her like, look, I whoop your ass or something, man. And she was like, I need to get up out of here before January 1st, man. So what's the spirit saying to the churches, man? These things are gonna take place. <clears throat> yeah, the scriptures say evils are gonna grow, all right? It's gonna get real bad out here. And we're, we're seeing it. It's not pleasant out here. It's like a picture like that, right, that was tweaking. She, she hears all these news reports. Damn there every day, every other day, you hear about people getting shot, run over, all right? Getting killed over road rage. You know, hey, people aren't, uh, 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 they're not playing anymore. No, they, people are re really executing judgment. No one's waiting for fucking cops anymore. There are no cops. What the fuck? I just, I just saw a, a, a video of a, of a cop shooting here that happened up whatever the other day or whatever it happened in recent. And the dude was walking in the alley with a gun 
uh, it, but he had put it in his, you know, his coat. I don't know how the popo initially saw it, but they tracked walking, uh, um, chasing him in the alley, but they ain't running chasing him because they didn't want him to turn around and bust. But they already called for help. So they just walking behind, hey buddy, hey stop, hey, put it down, yo, hey. You can't like, leave me alone, you know what I'm saying? And they keep on they chasing him for, you know, they follow him for about a block or two in the alley. And so the popo, the other popos drove up on their ass. As soon as they drove up, they came out, coming right out the car, comes like, hey, put the gun by the, by the rim. And he just simply lifted it up, ba da da, ba da da. Shot two of them that quick, and of course they shot his ass. But just to show you, we're in a time where people don't give a fuck no more. That's right. It's, it's, it's done. Everybody got a chip on their motherfucking shoulders, man. This shit is done. All right? That's why this little simple ass females think they can go raise up against a man. Show me your shortest man, your, 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 your short, your thinnest man, and he still has power to beat your biggest woman. Because it's the Lord giving man a different type of strength than a woman has. Durability. Come on, bro. 42. If you, if you want to get to the science behind it, the sinews of our body and the, the makeup of our body is made up in such a way that it would, it would just beat 90% of women. You would have to have a very trained woman, very skilled, to be able to beat an unskilled man who don't know shit. Which that can happen more now these days because men are not growing up being skilled. Back in the days, all the men had to go through the fucking training. Almost in every single society, a young man had to go fucking join the fucking military. And, and, and then, the way the world was set up, there was so much more a machismo that the, the men were, were, were getting, uh, brought up to fight. Yeah. Now you got these women raising up these goddamn single-ass motherfucking families with these young-ass little fucking boys. Took um, my daughter, because it was her little curse day, out to the zump zone. Took her some of her friends and shit. So she out there kicking it. Her cousin, uh, 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 it, so her cousin was one girl and one little boy, and the little boy four. He only be around his mama and his sister and his and her grandma and them, them, them motherfuckers. This motherfucker's the softest ass four year old I've ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and, and, and it was prefaced already at start up, like, hey, you know, he's a little sensitive. Yes, he's sensitive. He's demasculized, being raised by these goddamn women. And, and so, what I can talk about this is, uh, do not must the company of a woman. Yes. Uh, yeah, basically what's happening is Esau, it, 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 through all his policies and agendas, have uh, spiritually castrated the, the men, man. Alright? That's basically what, what, what has ha happened, alright? You know? Hey, things are out of course, as it says in Psalms 82 and 5. That's right. Earth is out of course. You got uh, women that are in the position of, uh, of uh, where men should be at, man, in these positions. You know? And this is why all, all our uh, men are, you know, or the modern day, you know, you know, men, they're all weak and feminine. All, they they want to fucking paint their nails, color their hair, all right? They, they, they can't deal with any adversity, okay? You know, it's funny you say that, because they were jumping around, and um, what the girls were building a little tower out of the little bricks, the little foam bricks on the trampoline. And so they took the foam out of the foam pit, put it on the on the trampoline, and they were trying to build it up. Now he just jumping and bouncing around, bouncing. He went, he went up and, and started bouncing them. They got mad because he was messing up their bricks, you know. And and, and and so they busted him, and he just ended up sitting up there crying and just crying and crying. And it's like, well, fuck those bricks, fuck that. But this is a huge ass place. Go bounce and jump over there. This nigga went and, and I, I talked to him and after he talked, he went and went into the jumping pit and just started crying like a little bitch. And I was like, man, I, I said, you know, man, he ain't got a little adversity. A little, a little me just a smidgen. And this motherfucker was bent over crying like he lost his whole, and I had to, I had to, I had to say, I don't know, I don't know him well, so I had to talk to him and say, hey, come here, man, look, you go play over there, you go bounce over here, come on, we only got a little bit of time left, come on and come on, bounce over here. And he finally did. But that, but that spirit gets set as a young man and it starts growing and growing. And next thing you know, you got these soft ass, effeminate ass men, which pushes that homosexual spirit. All right? You see the men putting their hands on the hip, putting their shit to the side. You got their head, a limp hand, limp, you know what I'm saying? A little curl of this, and that soft this. And, and, and the next thing you know, it's one of them. It's one of them mouths. And they wonder what happened. You know what I'm saying?
Oh, <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> what they're saying is, 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 is important because, you know, you got to go through adversity to be a man or to even become a man of the Lord. You got to go through adversity for that. So if you grown up and you raised with a spirit that acts like a bitch when adversity comes, that act like a bull when adversity comes, they basically teach you how to not get close to the Lord. That's right. This uh, Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 5, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And you don't want to go through that pain or whatever, whatever it is you gotta go through. You can't come out on the other side with the substance. Right. All these niggas, they want to have all the good benefits and all that shit, but they don't, all that comes with process. There ain't no such thing as just showing up and you got it. Right. And uh, when you when you raised with the mentality of just quitting because something offended you, and and a lot of the times people get offended or, or feel bad about certain shit, and they don't even really investigate the intent behind certain things. Like somebody might get offended by a certain individual, and oh well now I'm gonna quit this job because of this, or now I'm a I'm a quit the camp for somebody. I feel like somebody offended me, but, but you don't even it's sit down and me. So like, no, no. You don't even sit down with that person and they might not even thought that they did anything wild. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people don't, don't, don't consider shit like that. And it stops you from, from, from continuing to persevere in anything in life, really. But, you, know, you know what that makes me think of? Jiu-Jitsu. Alright, when we train, and that brother who was speaking, he's one who trains on a regular basis. He had a couple of men in the camp, maybe about a good 10 brothers that train on a regular basis. And I was talking to one of the other brothers that trained Monzo. And I was telling him, like, half the time after we drill, I don't like sparring. I like to spar, but I don't like sparring. Because, first of all, these are all men of the Lord. And they all been trained under Malcolm. And Malcolm was a beast. His trainer, Izzy, the beast. And if you ever, if you ever sparred against them, you just get your ass folded up. It's <laughs> like a pretzel every time. So y'all see me, what I do when I be playing around, that's how they do to me. Like, really easy. And it's like, man, when you're getting ready to go fight, it's like, oh, fuck. I'm about to be exposed or I'm about to be vulnerable. It's going to be a match. I don't know. You never know. And I'm not certain to you. When you get built up in the spirit, when you get built up as a man, you get battle tested to the point where you overcome that. Where it's like, okay, no, bring the fight on. All right? If somebody walked up here right now with a whole bunch of books, they had the whole thing. And vocab came up here, for instance. And vocab came up here, ready to debate. How hot will we be? Oh, man. They say what? I said, oh, man. Just round up. Just round up. Hey, how y'all doing? It's not agree to be smoking. And be smoking, bro. Fingers, fingers be have the Nazariah fingers. All right. <laughs> hey, show the camera the Nazariah fingers so everybody know what we mean by that. No, no, no. You gotta put them in the book. You gotta, gotta, gotta get that similar to. Everybody, every brother will have about five, six, seven, eight precepts ready to go on the day over every particular topic. I, we, but on the way here, cause we got we got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? I was giving him a uh, breakdown of Romans nine, and I had him. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh yeah, you got you got you got the fingers now, man. Uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, but that's how we are now ready for a fight. Because we've been built up in this. And the, the scripture says, train up a child yep. in the way that he should go. You got it? No, I can just got one. Okay, that's good. It says train up a child in the way he should go. When he gets old, he won't depart from it. If you don't train up that child, he's that yeah, especially that young man. Matter of fact, went to go grab went to the liquor store. Grab a little bottle. An uh, older lady, she had to be in her 60s, bringing in her, uh, I presume to be her grandson, who had to be like four years old, three or four. And she was like, look at you, you got, you got your fresh cut looking so good. And, um, hey, so long, so long, so long, y'all about to be outside my trunks. Outside my trunks. And it was like, uh, look at him, he's so, he, he's, uh, he's so handsome, he got his, you know, got your hair, got your, your big boy haircut. And I was like, oh, no, he wouldn't got there and got fucking emasculated. He's all lined up and Americanized. And they're teaching this little boy at three, four years old that this is what you do. This is why we are not, this is why we have fell away so far. 
not being built up and trained up in the laws, statutes, commandments, in our history, our heritage, and the, uh, of the Heavenly Father, we become like women. Right. Proverbs 22 and 6, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You know, a, a father, you know, I, I grew up with a father in the house, you know what I'm saying? How dare my mother would, you know, tell me something, you know, to go contrary to what he had just said. If he had set the rules, it was the rules, bro, baby, you know, ain't nothing like growing up with a, a man in the house, not a, a boy, because our, you know, our, 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 you know, our nationality, our, our, uh, 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 our boys and our women, their the, the growth gets stuck, you know, by some traumatic uh, event that happens, you know, whether it be uh, 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 in school or at home, but some traumatic event happens, man, and that little boy or that little girl, man, that, 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 that growth spurt, you know, that, that mental growth spurt is stunt because they're emotionally damaged somewhere. It could be uh, 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 some kind of uh, sexual uh, damage. It could be some kind of uh, physical damage. It could be just an emotional, just around the household, what's going on in your household. That's just right. the mama is running the fucking household, you know, got no structure. That's a, that, 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 that the head is cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got an example of that. I'm going to say real quick, you know, <clears throat> I got four sons. And um, my oldest son, you know, I haven't seen him in like three years, you know. And through the spirit, man, he's the weakest one. And he's supposed to be the strongest. But that's because he's being raised by women. And then my second son, I see like the same kind of path, but he's a, he's a little stronger because I'm still in the picture. But my third son, who, who lives with me and I'm raising, He's he the damn he he's the damn beast, man. He's lying. He's man. He is a, a lion, man. You know. And then in our, of course, I got a little newborn, but it's just it could, just goes to show how demasculating it is when you're being raised up by women. Because my second son, man, man, this dude, he's a little punk, man. He's a little crybaby, you know. And I gotta be honest, man. I love my sons. But compared to my third son is being raised up by me, you know? See, they see, these women don't understand that. Remember, if I was talking to the older Benjamin, and, and we were talking about kids, and, uh, and, 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 and he was like, busting his brother, uh, well, not really busting his brother, but one of the brothers, uh, Avi, his son, uh, had got a car because he went to the next day because they came to pick him up, whatever. And, um, and um, he went to get picked up and stuff, and then when he didn't pick him up, he started crying. And Benji was like, man, just let him cry. Right. Don't pick yep. him up and don't let him. See, we would do that. Don't be like, no, nah, let no nah, motherfucker even. See, I treat my daughter way different than if I had a son. I don't have a son. If I had a son, I would be hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and even, even, even Benji cut me too. He said, yeah, but you're supposed to scare a smile of your daughter too. And I was like, hey, I might smile a little bit too much. You know, and I, but that put me put a bone in my mind to make me be a little rougher with her, even though I'm not. And I like, like I told him, I said I'm not nice with my daughter like that. Right? And matter, matter of fact, and I said, I said I gave a similar to. I said, you know, I told my said, my baby girl, I said, hey, uh, your mama ain't come come home. She ain't doing what you know, what's what's what your house she ain't gonna do it. Kill her. You know what I'm saying? And she was like straight up killing. She didn't got to the destroyer. You know, I teach her the truth. But the thing is, that's a girl. Men supposed to be raised up in that hard, tough, you know, tough love. And you don't beat them down. If you even know the scriptures, like you do with brothers, man. If you busted a brother, you're kind. If you got brothers, you might be like, uh, hey, bro, I don't like the fact that you did this. What the fuck was wrong with you, man? You went to hell. I don't understand this. The scriptures say this like that. But then you go ahead and build them back up. Be like, you know what? But you know what? You're still in. I see the beauty in you. I see the strength in you. And you build them back up. You just don't beat somebody down without building them back up. You learn to balance this and as a man. These bitches don't got that balance. These bitches like, nigga, I said shut up! Motherfucker, I don't want you to jump on over! It's like, what the fuck? The Hawk sent me something right on Instagram. This shit was so bugged out. You had the single uh, uh, mother of this right, bitch, right? She's sitting there, she was like, uh, you know, on the video talking about like, you know, I started, you know, yelling at my kids because, you know, they were too loud, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, now it's too quiet. Let me see what they're up to. She runs in there. It's like, why is it so quiet in here? And the, the kids are like, well, you told us not to, you know, uh, not to be loud. They're exactly right. confusion. They're, they're like, what the? And they're literally hurting in their voice. They're like, what the fuck? You just told us to be quiet. They, they, the scriptures say, and uh, there was a Job uh, 39, 17. 
It says uh, that basically the Lord had, had not uh, departed wisdom unto her, man. And when you go into that, all right, that goes into um, their um, their uh, discernment, man. These women have no uh, discernment, all right. They're, 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 they're all over the place, man. They're double-minded. They change like the moon, man. Women trying to raise up boys, and that's not their job. Uh, as Esau has systematically took the strong figure, which is the man, out of the household. And this is Ephesians 6 and 4. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admiration of the Lord. And that's how we're supposed to bring our young men up. Right. According to the laws, statutes, and commandments of uh, Yahweh Bahashan, Yahweh Shah. And the uh, bitch, you sit the fuck down. You ain't got no set of laws. You can't say shit to me. You can't testify. You don't have testicles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look, yeah, yeah. look, you gotta uh, bring up um, those, those, uh, you gotta raise those boys up, all right, those young men, all right, as Israelites. And when you go into our culture, man, our, our culture's full of warriors, all right? Men with logic, that's right, okay? That's right. Men who aren't wisdom. emotional, they that's have right. uh, wisdom, they have applied wisdom, okay? See, this world teaches you to be emotional, be bitch made, okay? Right. Soft. Uh -huh. Soft. And you see, that's funny you say that, because even amongst the brothers, when we in our own little, you know, our talks after camp and when we just vibrate, we have conversation. I said this not too long ago to a brother. I said, bro, we soft as fuck, bro. <laughs> Compared to our to our ancient self, yeah, 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 I, said, yeah, yeah. I, I, I said our ancient self will be looking at us up like like this, this soft, whoop, this sissy, bitch ass made motherfucker. I, 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 I will beat uh, 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 you. How, how you gonna tell yourself I'm gonna beat your ass? Cause you're soft. All we the only one, all the only one that ain't soft. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but I, 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 I guarantee you, the ancient Kowal well, yeah, will still yeah, look yeah. at the Kowal today and still say he's yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Now I look at the brother like Malcolm. Y'all brothers, they love they love Malcolm. I know you all love Malcolm, but just look at his views and look at his channel and it's just amazing. The brother is a very deep, very spiritual brother. He'll sit there and break down, you know, the Maccabees, he'll break down, you know, the Hyrcanus, to break it down, you know, going into the artifacts and articles and be so articulate. But guess what? Let you come against a brother. Let, let him see you approach a brother and act and be violent to a brother. He will one shot lay you out. Right. And when I say the, the man is so vicious on the fighting, God just don't know. Right. He's a professional fighter. He would have been, if he did not come into this truth, he would have been the, 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 the main event. All right, he would have been the, the goddamn uh, pay-per-view sellout. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And an and actual sellout. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> he would have sold out and sell out. You know what I'm saying? All right. And, but this, but you would not. He's so unassuming when you see him and you deal with his spirit because he, his mannerism is so peaceful. And he, and if you let him tell it, he got that peaceful manner because he already know he's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> so so guess what? The first rule of jujitsu is try not to fight. Cause you already know I'm gonna, 90% chance I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Let me stay out of trouble, I don't have to worry about the popo, I don't have to worry about busting your ass, I can keep, keep myself, let me just be cool. The, 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 the more you get deeper into this truth, the more balanced you be, right? When you're young in this truth, you, you're born lying hot, you gotta hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, now. don't kill him yet, hold on. Don't throw the thousand precepts that'll hold on, get, let's get him two or three, let's go, you gonna drown him. You gotta, because you gotta tip with that hot spirit. But the more you get experience, you think that that lion that's got that pride that's been over there for 10 you know, plus years, whatever, and he's gonna rush right to haste? No, and you don't make haste in the time, you take your time. You, deal, you operate with the spirit. Right. Um, go ahead, brother. I got, I got uh, this is three. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. Come on. Uh, uh, Shalaki 16. Ecclesiastes 9 and 16. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised words are not heard. All right, main point is wisdom is better than strength, okay? Right. All right, and you see that, because I'll say this, you have a lot of Jake out here, right? Hey, hey, they'll be physically, you know, fit, they can uh, uh, knock, you know, niggas out left and right. All right, looking like a Mike Tyson, man. Right. But, but look at his uh, mental state, man. Through. He's through, man. Right. All right? <laughs> He's completely done. You some Mike? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. One too many punches. 
You know? He just punched her. Okay, but it's just in general, he threw you know, and, and even without the fight, just because he didn't have the wisdom, man. Uh, wisdom is uh, better than strength. He did not want to take the the the, 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 Nicky, the Nicky Wicky, the mm -hmm. juicy the juicy fruit. And and he, because his handlers said, go ahead on, Mike, take it. He took it. And now he, he did the video not too long ago saying that he damn near he had to be in a wheelchair and he's losing his functions because of juice. That shows you the, the, the spiritual intellect, the mental intellect that he really has. He ain't got it. In order to be in this truth, you have to have a mind that is stronger than any other mind. Right. And owning your own dispensary don't help either, Elder. Man. Bro. And it says here uh, in Ecclesiastes 9 and 18 now, wisdom is better than weapons of war. For one sinner destroys much good. And the point being is wisdom is better than the weapons of war. All right, hey, first and foremost, get your mind right, man. That's right. Okay? That's right. That's what we need to be doing. You know? We, we, we got to uh, 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 watch this filth that's been implanted in our minds for years, man. Okay? And how do we do that? By, by uh, uh, getting cleansed by this word right here. How should a uh, young man, all right, you know, cleanse himself? It's by this word, as the scriptures say. And I got one last scripture. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, what is it, 7 and 19. Wisdom strengthens the wise more than the ten mighty men which are in the city. All right, right. That, that, that wisdom strengthens you more than, 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 than mighty men. So remember that. Uh, uh, this is Ecclesiastes nine and eleven. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, <laughs> nor the battle to the strong, Woo. neither the bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to the law. Do you know when Mike Tyson and his strength, you would think that this guy was going to be able to go ahead and get this truth and understand and be able to conquer shit? No. It's not to the strong. It's not to yeah. the, the Usain Bolt. Carl Lewis. Matter of fact, where the fuck has Carl Lewis been? Right. Right. And he that he he was the original Usain. Yeah, right. Because back in our era, it was Carl Lewis. Right. All right? It was like, man, that Carl Lewis. And Jackie joined the Cursey. You remember that? We was talking about Jackie. We was talking about she, you know what I'm saying? And she went down too. Last we saw, he had them high heels on. See, now I ain't even know about that, but that's fucked up. But I'm not surprised. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole point is, the race is not given to that. The Lord, matter of fact, in the, in the New Testament, that's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it talks about that as well. How uh, uh, the same fiber as the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, if you can get it, you can see where I'm going. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. Jeremiah 9 and 23. Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. So you got all the motherfucking money in the world, and King Solomon said it in Ecclesiastes. And now you gotta go give it to this wicked ass, little effeminate ass, little monster, you know, this little moat. And you, what, built, what took you 45 years to build up and you have this big ass estate and shit, it'll take you two or three years to tear the whole thing down and be fucking bankrupt, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why this shit, the Lord Yahweh Bashmir, I've said through the scripture, this shit is vanity. Just speaking of Mike Tyson, you know, the Lord, the Lord gave Mike Tyson and all the other uh, uh, men those uh, special gifts, you know, athletics, you know, uh, and, uh, gave different men uh, 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 gifts of uh, science and, you know, gifts of uh, how to make money and all that. But hey, man, the, the, the gift, the, 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 the ultimate gift is, man, eternal life, man. Once that guy puts the spirit upon you, you know, not the spirit of prosperity <laughs> or my might, me, me, me. If the man is not speaking according to the word, the, the, the testimony of this word, uh, that Isaiah 8 and 20, man, he, he, ain't, he ain't got this gift, man. He didn't give it to him. Uh, finish it up on uh, 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 verse 24. It says, but let him that uh, glory, glory, glory in this, that he understands and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth. That's right. For in these things I delight, says yes. the Lord. Yes, Not no bullshit. Just like what the elder just said, everything else is vanity. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this whole play, uh, like, I, hey, it's just scripture, say, everything that is vanity, all is vanity, okay? Hey, we're looking for something better, all right? Something that's not going to be destroyed. It's going to last forever. Okay. See, the things of this world—they're they're, 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 they're corrupt. All right. They're going to fade away. Can you get that scripture in uh, the, the Corinthians? 
Hey, the fashion of this world fades away. Okay? I got it. And that's what's uh, going to happen very soon. This current, you know, evil world that's, that's set in place right now, it's going to bypass, man. We're not focused on this bullshit here, man. That's right. This is why we're uh, trying to get ourselves in order. And then really the Lord said he's going to uh, set us in order. Okay? With that being said, hey, there's going to be a lot of reproofs. All right, uh, happening. Uh, a lot of correction. A lot of trials and tribulations. A lot of tests right. that each brother's going to go through. And it's not going to feel good, man. That's right. All right, because that's chastisement. And chastisement at the present moment isn't joyous. But what happens? It yields that peaceable fruit. Right. Okay? You see? Yeah, did you get to what the Jews find whatever was it the New Testament? Was it this one? For this one? Uh, proceed. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. This I was is about to get it because I go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh first Corinthians one and um, I'm gonna start at um <laughs> shit, man. I started twenty one, I know what to do. This is uh in the spirit, bro. Hey, we used to but back when we used to start we used to camp back in the day, brother. We'll start around two o'clock in the afternoon, and we would camp all the way to 10, 11, 12 at night. And it was like that. And, and bro, that's what we did. We didn't know nothing, no difference. So, so this don't, is don't, uh, get, don't get us started. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter one, and I'll start at twenty-one. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It, and you see, this world doesn't know the Most High. Okay. Hey, did this uh, world believes in what? Science, all right, technology, right. themselves. That's what they believe in. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And it's evident because of their actions and their deeds. You see? Because it's all wicked and evil. That's they don't right. try to uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments, which that's real wisdom, anyways. That's right. You know? Because right. the, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. That's right. that's you right. see? And it says here, it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And this is foolish to the world, all right? That men come out every week, all right? Every week. Wearing dresses. Wearing dresses <laughs> and cursing everybody out, you know? That's foolish. And you gotta remember, man, you got a lot of young brothers up here. They, they could be getting some fucking box right now, man. Some some white box, okay? <laughs> all right? You know? <laughs> and, and they're not doing that. What are they doing? Hey, they're, they're, they're uh, uh, presenting their bodies as living sacrifices. Right. All right. Dedicating their lives to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Going not, without. Not yeah. giving a fuck about this place. All right. You know, hey, you, you got hey. <laughs> <laughs> it. Like, like, for, like, for instance, myself, you know, brothers like Monokai, you know, brothers who are, who are about 10, 11, 12 years, you know, into it. We came, came in when we were uh, in our 20s, early 20s, man. Now we're in our 30s, man. I mean, people will say that that's like your your your, your prime, man. So, you know, so, you, you could have been out there doing X, Y, Z, things. Hey, but all that shit is dumb. That's what you're saying. That's right. That's right. That's why the scripture saying uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh, remember now, thy creators in the days of thy youth, yeah. before the evil days draw nigh. Majority of the men of the Lord that come in, if you look at the collection of the men of the Lord, the Great Millstone, or even these other camps, majority of them are young men in their twenties. All right. Now the Lord. That's the reason why we give extra kudos to the brothers with the, the hoary beards, all right? You know, this, that hoary beard. And I must say, this brother, Shatarya, he goes back to when we first started on at Geometric uh, County Southwest, right? It was a year or two after uh, uh, GMS Mapataza. A lot of brothers don't know the, the dynamic of Chicago. It's two camps, all right? And then we merged into one camp, okay? But this brother was around from then, and this, this, this brother, how old are you, brother? Six. Years old. Now, you go back 13, 14 years ago, he was in his late 40s, right? And that's what he started doing. And, uh, and, 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 and um, he was sitting there listening to little old me. And this is a grown ass motherfucker. He could be my damn near dad, you know? Because, no, he could, he could be my father. I'm 48. That's 12 years old right there. It's 12 years different. Um, he was a he, he wouldn't stop popping at 12 years old as a young man. I could, I could be, this could be my father. That's right. All right? And I used to marvel at Elder Nate. I'm just going to say. You know what I'm saying? Because he was older than this brother. That's right. Because he was in his 60s at the time. I was 35. And here go Elder Nate at 60 years old. And I'm saying, no, no, I, no, no, no. This is what you do. No, come here and do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know the spirit of the Lord and the might of the Lord, man. Right. But the Lord really deals with a lot of young men. And the Lord also, 
full size car, but it'll do with the older men. There's brothers that's uh, camps at 70 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And certain camps around, I think uh, in Boston, I think they had them. Okay, that one that one. But there's other men, uh, kind, kind. But there's other men who are hoary heads in other states that are that in their 60s or 70s, you know? So the, the Lord will deal there, but the majority of the men are the gun, is these young men. All right, but go ahead. you're supposed to bear that yoke in your youth, as it says in, I think, Lamentations, right? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> you know? All right, but uh, let's get back to this. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, and 22 now. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. That's the problem with our people, man. All right? Hey, what does it say? This is uh, an adulterous and wicked generation that seeking after a sign. Our people always need to, you know, see something. You know, hear something super deep, man, 10 deep, you know? <laughs> All right, our people are bugged the fuck out, man. You know, and it says here, because uh, by the way, just a side note, those Greeks right there are talking about Israelites that were uh, into the Greek fashion. Okay, right. they were Hellenized. Right. And verse, to prove that real quick, he said to, to, to Jew, uh, Jew, uh, the Greek, to, to, to Jew into the Greek, right? Yeah. The Jew. Why did he say that the Moabite? That meant everybody. Why didn't he say that to the Ammonite? Yep. So if, if you took that literal, only Jews and Greeks, literal Greeks, are only going to make it to the kingdom. Yep. And, that's, exactly. and the Lord said he's not dealing with the heathens. So right. that have to be Israelite foreigners. But go ahead. Verse 23, but we preach Yahweh Shai crucified. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> yep. Hey, hey, It says, uh, but we preach Yahweh Shai crucified unto the Jews a stumbling, stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. You see our people, they, 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 they see it as foolishness. It ultimately is a uh, what though? A stumbling block because Yahweh Shai is that ultimate uh, ultimate stumbling block, all right, to our people, okay? Which is what the word, man. This word makes our people stumble, fall, trip, okay, to the goddamn the abyss, man. All right, they're, they're, they are, uh, our people are through. That's right. Okay, once you start, uh, 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 you start, you know, preaching this word, they get what offended, man. All right. Oh, I can't eat pork. Oh, I gotta cut my dreads. All right. Oh, you guys are talking about, you know, 12, 13 year old girls getting married off. That not a not my, not my God. He wouldn't allow that. Right. You know. Yeah. The, uh, uh, hey, brothers, you have certain people. They get rebuked all of a sudden. Now, you know what? I'm gonna leave the camp. None, none of these men that I've been preaching with for a decade plus, they're, they're not men of the Lord now. They're not the elders. This, this is what happens, man. You know? But uh, let me keep reading. It says, uh, what was that? Uh, verse 24. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Yahweh shied the power of Yahweh and the fool and the wisdom of, of the Most High. Because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men. Right. See, and the weak, and the weakness, the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. All right, really, this is true strength, man. All right, hey, the the, 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 the lowest uh, member, so to speak, hey, they're stronger than the, the, the mightiest man of this world. All right, you know, verse uh, twenty-six. For ye see your calling, brothers. How that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. You see, not many uh, wise men are called into this, okay? You know? Because hey, you got a lot of our people that are what? Doctors, scientists, okay? Hey, they're inventors. A lot of them are called into this. You got a lot of mighty men. Hey, you got the, uh, the John Jones, all right? The all right. Canelo, all right? The, the, the Floyd Mayweather, so on and so forth. You don't see them uh, being called into this. Hey, yeah, you may you may see a celebrity here and there, you know, say that they're Israelite. It's cool for what a year, a year and some change. Then what happened shortly uh, uh, after, man? They end up, you know, talking about adultery. That's right. Okay. They they end up, uh, you know, eating fucking uh, uh, pork and, and fucking uh, was it lobster on Instagram? That's, That's what right. you see, man. That's right. You know. <laughs> all right, and it says uh, not many noble, all right. Many like your politicians, those that have, you know, a, a, a name in this world. A lot of them are called men. It's just ordinary men. And see, this and that's what is going to uh, trip uh, a lot of people out, man. That these ordinary men, all right, in the flesh, they're really not ordinary because their spirits are just above ordinary. All right, if they are the men of the Lord. If they are a part of the elect. Okay. 
But the point being though is that these, what the world will call us ordinary men, they're going to be the ones that are going to get saved. They, 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 these are the, 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 the Lord's chosen, you know? That's, well, that's the wisdom of Solomon, what it's like, uh, the chapter. Right, right, it's like, yeah, you get that? yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, hey, if, if these guys that we ever thought that we could be ever nothing, they were really, all scoured on the earth, these little pieces of shit, and out there, they're claiming to be part of the number, right. you know? So, yeah, that's why it's rough, man. If you really understand the path to be how about Shinya Shai, this is not an easy task, man. We are fighting with God. This is the hardest job. It takes total selflessness. It takes humility, self-control. Self if Yahweh Shai said to David, King David, our king, that he, hallelujah, hallelujah, seven one one one, hallelujah, that um, King David watered his couch with his tears. If you see Yahweh Shai entering into the city and overspooking the wisdom, and Yahweh Shai was you all right? If you if you if you see that and understand that, then that gives you the understanding that this is this. Even Paul, when Paul was snapping about the brothers who fell out and had been wicked and shit, he said, "Now I tell you, even weeping, yeah, yeah, yeah. these are enemies of Yahweh Shai and the cross of Yahweh Shai. We are invested in you. That's right. All right. It hurts when when brothers fall out, man. It's not a pleasant thing, man. You you, you you're literally losing a brother, man. You, you, know, you feel like you're losing a piece of you, man. A friend, family. Yeah. We, we, Bro, we war in the trenches now on a carnal note playing softball. When you play softball, and right now to this day, I don't give a fuck whoever plays softball, been on my bowling team or any sports. When I see them, at, and y'all know I go hard, right? Uh, when I see them, it's, it's a whole different love. One of my softballer guys called me up right now. I was like, man, I'm just going to like $35. Man, I'm sending him pity. That's why it's softball, because you came to me on my team, you sacrificed your time, you came out there on that motherfucking diamond, you was in the motherfucking dust, and while we sit up there trying to scrape to beat these other motherfuckers, they have my back. When this other team went to fucking fight us and start some shit, we was up there ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe together. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Now, how much more spiritually on what really fucking matters? Because that other shit don't fucking matter. Right. The body, that bodily gain the profit is little. All right? But this right here profit is everything. That's right. Right. And that's why Paul said that uh, uh, he himself wished that he was a curse for his kindred, man. You know, and, and, and hey, Paul, man, when, when, when the Lord turned him around, man, all right, he, he was a, a fervent, uh, faithful servant of, of Yahweh Shudel Shai, man. So for him to say that he had great sorrow, that he, that he was a curse to see his kinsmen, you know, in the truth, man, you know, that's, that's, that's some deep love there, man. Right. Right. You know, that's heavy, heavy love there, all right? And at the end of the day, all right, uh, 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 the reason why we get on, look, uh, a man that's doing well, it, it, it's not often checked. But a man that is uh, struggling, you know, it's often checked, man. You see? And so when we, when, when, if a brother gets on you, and it, 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 man, it's because of love, man. That correction is the real love of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why as a people, we are being corrected, man. You know, uh, real quick, uh, the uh, open rebuke is better than secret, secret love. Uh. And then there's true brothers in love, man. But see, this world, they'll tell you, no, all right, hey, that guy's a hater, all right? You know, uh, you know he, he, he just, you know, doesn't like me succeeding this, that, and third, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, he's picking on me. That's some emotional bitch ass shit, man. And going back to uh, the start of the lesson, man, that, that was designed, all right, uh, uh, to be pushed on our people by Esau, you know, because he, he he set up the woman. He knew what he was doing when he set up the woman, man, in power. That's right. And now look at the state of our nation, where with the women being empowered. That's right. Look how low the, the nation of Israel has gotten. It's terrible, man. You got it. It's uh, Proverbs 27 and verse 5. It says, open rebuke is better than secret love. Exactly. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Is there any more? Yep. It says, faithful are the wounds of a friend, mm. but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Exactly. In this world, uh, all these enemies are going to kiss you, man. All right? You know, so to speak. They tell you everything's good. And they, 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 uh, they, uh, how you keep you know, doing your, you know, the wickedness things, the bullshit things that are going to bring you down. You know, but see, a true friend is gonna tell you, "Hey, bro, man, that ain't good for you, man. All right, I don't give a fuck how uh, 
how you take this, so to speak, it ain't good for you. I gotta let you know this, man, because I don't want you to die. I don't want you to fall, man. And you might rebuke somebody that got uh, like problems with they, they, they uh, health or they weight or whatever. That's, they're going on a lot in the black people, right? You know, tell your ass, like, look, stop, don't eat that shit. You know, you'd be straight up with them, man. But hey, that's taking and looking at it as a bad thing. They, no, nah, man, let him do that. But the nigga's killing himself, man. Exactly. But a faithful friend will take, like, look, stop doing that shit. You hurt yourself. The same people will be like, oh, you know, you'll have the person who's got that weight problem, right? They're all fucked up. And the same people that I tell, tell you, hey, don't don't be telling them that. Hey, just let them do what they want. And all of a sudden, they're like, man, we got to pray for this person, that person. But, I mean, they're all messed up. They got gout. They, they can barely walk. Their, their, their uh, uh, knees are messed up. Their back is messed up. Man. Hey, hey, if our people are hypocrites and all that shit, man. All right. Uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 20. <clears throat> them that sin rebuke before all yep. that others also may fear right and you gotta remember man rebuking is not just for that, is that uh, individual that needs to be cursed, cursed out it's for everybody too man all right so then everyone can be like shit man you know i i, I don't want to do that because you know i don't want to get you know uh, uh, that judgment like that particular person you know you know Hey, I, I got that same mentality at my job, man. Is she trying to make to the other side? She's still at the Just spoke on females in charge. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Just spoke on that. Just tell them. Come on, man. Go for it. It's a picture of the increase. Whatever. This shit is crazy, man. Nothing's happening around here, man. You're gonna have a fucking five foot, you know, five foot, you know, flat security guard. All right. I mean, anyway, how tall is she? She's about five foot tall. Four eleven. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say she's four eleven with, with her shoes on. She five foot with her shoes on. One hundred five pounds. And she and she didn't weigh no more than one hundred twenty pounds. Bro. It's like I was talking shit to a guy at my job yesterday. Right now, he'd be like, this one, he'd be like, 
That's what he would do. He was like, and it is and probably a little offended. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like nigga, what's fuck? Alright? But from other brothers who have houses and, and, and entertain periodically, but not like all the time, he'll tell you like the motherfuckers, the motherfuckers don't give up their house. So you talk about men of the Lord who give up the house. Brothers who give up their cars. You saw the one Maurice nigga who was like, oh, uh, uh, this the gas don't run on charity. Who's my boy? That's motherfucker. That's that's, that's that's such a ridiculous statement because if that nigga ever didn't have no gas and asked the brothers, the brothers would give him gas to put gas in the car. How many times? How many times? We did it. That shit don't even make sense. Yes, your gas tank has run off charity before. Yes, that's that's the answer. Yes, it does, 100%, man. Right, and right. any thought other than that is that you may be you in big it's trouble, spirit. man. It's it's spirit. Right. And you're in big trouble. That's why I'm more excommunicated this day. And to be honest, everything you do run off charity because the Lord don't know you shit, nigga. Come on, man. That's why y'all, y'all about to y'all, we are bought with a price. All right, we are bought with a price, man. The Lord is already, he shed his blood for us. We are owned, we are owned. We are prisoners in how much of y'all try, man. That's right. Precept, precept. This is Mark 13 and 13, and it reads, And ye shall be saved of all men for my namesake, but he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. You gotta endure to the end. Yeah, a lot of shit's gonna come up, man. All right, hey, hey brothers have, have dealt with uh, uh, death in the family, man, all right, in their own personal families. Hey, we've dealt with a, a brother, a, that's in the brotherhood. That shit does not feel fucking good, man. I just drove past, all, I just drove past uh, Captain Lee's uh, uh, kill site when he killed Captain uh, Cap Lee. Uh, so the young brother that was alone in the faith. Uh, the young man, he was 20 when he first came, like 19 when he first came in the truth. 18, he could have been 18, and he was in the truth for about three years before the Lord took him to the spirit world. And this when I said his name, his name was Isaiah, which means help of the Lord. You know this young man at 18 years was helping everybody in the camp. It was like yeah. it was an omen omen. I remember I was on the side of the ninth, uh, uh, on the highway 57, but over there by uh, 919, and I got stranded because I, I mean, I'm 400 feet from the gas station, oh. but I'm up on the ramp and I'm trying to push this motherfucker. I didn't have oh, to I can't push no fucking 2,000 pound car on the ramp. I got a, almost halfway up that bitch, but I was like, okay, this is done, and I had nobody to help me. I was calling, asked going to the group, asking brothers. And he, who's the first one? Captain. Captain Saber, right? They <laughs> Captain Saber bro, right? And, <laughs> and, and he came when came down from, he lived out by Chicago Heights area too at that time. And he came all the way up um, back into the city just to get me out of that jam. And he helped many brothers out, man. He, uh, he helped me uh, move one time. And my dad was there. And then when I told him about how, uh, uh, you know, you know how, how he died, my, he, my dad only met him one time and he was like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, what the fuck? He, 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 he uh, left a good uh, impression. Report. Yes. Report. Report. Even Report. at the funeral. Who went to the funeral? Okay, you went, right. And what did the preacher say? Man, he said that, uh, he said he was uh, basically amazed on how such a young man had so much wisdom, man. He was teaching them. Stomping them. Stomping them, man. He said, man, he'll ask me questions. And because he was eulogizing the funeral, he's like, man, he would ask me questions. I'll say, uh, brother, I'm going to have to get back to you. And, uh, and go ahead and check this out before I can respond as it got me <laughs> on this particular thing. Because he was getting, using wisdom, because it was his family's preachers while I've been, so when he had to be around them for family shit, you know, he would come to him like little old boy, like, you know, seen him growing up, and he'd come out with all this wisdom, he's like, what the fuck? But that was a report of him in his death, all right? Sorry. And for the record, he got killed uh, in my mistaken identity. He was picking up his mom in his mom's car, and it was him and his mom in the car to, uh, to go run some errands. He was helping his mom out, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and they had all tinted windows, so you couldn't pitch black, you couldn't see it. Um, from what the police said, it was um, um, the Ford Jetta looks a lot like, uh, that, uh, not the Ford Jetta, but the uh, Volkswagen Jetta looks a lot like the Ford Fusion. And so the Ford Fusion, they had a Ford Fusion, she worked for the Ford plant. Right? And so they had uh, some people in Hammond, Indiana, had people, some niggas in Calvin um, City. And so they saw the car and said, oh, let's go to the ops. And they went to go ride out on the ops and shot out the car. Didn't even, didn't even know it was his mom and uh, 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 a man of the Lord and his mom in the car. But it was the Lord, you know, calling him on home. And he sit up there, when they start shooting, go, trying to go protect his mom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, he you, know, you know, both of them got, both of them were deceased. 
Yeah, and, and, but, but going back to what you said, man, that shit hurt. That's don't even tell Shabaki this. That was his actual blood cousin, you know, first cousin. It was uh, it was rough, man. It was a rough period. Yeah, I mean, we 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 sorrowed, we cried, we lamented, we went to the father, and we celebrated that brother. Because that brother was a beautiful brother. He left a beautiful legacy in three years, about three four years of being in the truth, man. That's why this 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 here goes deep. We don't we we care about one another. We care about uh, the body, and not only the brothers in the faith. We care about our people. Somebody give me the book of Luke. What is it? Uh, it's the seventh chapter. It's the seventh or the eighth chapter, something. But it's like uh, they went to go try to get a uh, centurion, try to get Yahweh Shai to come heal his, uh, his servant. And he said, why? You know, he said he, he tried to give a reason why Yahweh Shai should heal him. All right. And one of the reasons is what what we're all about. Well, but for us to come out here to the highways and byways, the brave, the the, the heat, the cold, the rain, the scalping, the fucking Little bitches, fucking security guards trying to tell you to fuck them all. The goddamn road, the popo, nigglets right down here. We used to camp right on the other side of that bus stop. And uh, I'm talking about rain, sleet, snow, cold, it didn't matter. We got accosted by by groups of motherfuckers, one motherfucker. Niggas at the fucking bus stop got bangers on their hips, all kind of shit. Motherfuckers coming in with sticks and weapons and shit. And you know, we were young in the faith. Before we didn't want to go ahead and fight this before we got to the Kind of the, kind of the brawl. Then <laughs> 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 we would. Hey, you big guy. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. As soon as one of the older brothers did this, did this right here, taking up that shit, that, that was it. That was done because I couldn't even get mine off. By the time I got mine off, the other brothers had theirs off. And you know, I, I'm sitting up there like putting mine back on. Hey, hey, hey it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> 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 hey, got nothing. And then the Kobo come and beat the same motherfucker ass. This that shit is, was funny. This, 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 this shit is epic. The Lord got us, bro. But the love that we have to even be out here in the highways and byways to give up our Sundays, give up our Mondays, give up our Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, whatever days brothers camp on particular days to come out here and, and endure all these afflictions, man. All right? This this is of the Heavenly Father, how much we all shy. Man, all right? Yeah, did you have that stupid? Luke chapter 7 and verse 1. It says, now when he had ended all his scenes in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum, and a certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. It says, and when he had heard of the house, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would, he would come and heal his servant. So he went to go, when he heard about Yahweh Shai, all the things that he thought, all about the work and miracles and so forth, he said, oh, that's the man. Hey. And I'm, let me go beg him. Let me go beseech him. Let me go plead to him. This is why you should come heal my servant, man. This is verse 4. When, we was, when they came to Yahweh Shai, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for him for whom he should do this. For he loved our nation, and he had built us a synagogue. It says, Then Yahweh Shai went with them, and when he was not far, not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying, uh, to him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worried that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Verse 7, it says, Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. It says, verse 8, For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he will end. When Yahweh Shai heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I said to you, I have found so great faith, no, not in Israel. So Yahweh Shai, and I was, oh, was going to stop at the beginning, but the Spirit said, don't let all that come out. Yes, and this, so this is his, this was Yahweh Shai's assessment of that man. He said, man, shit, I ain't seen so great a faith right here around these streets. All right? Why? Because first of all, he heard about Yahweh Shai. The first way of to get into the, and understanding this truth is hearing. Right. He said, uh, "Come on, somebody get that. Back it up." And then somebody also said, uh, uh, "How can they hear without a person? Somebody get that one too, All right?" And so, he's first of all he heard the truth, and then he then, then he believed. Somebody can be confused. It's the first chapter. Um, start around about the tenth verse. Okay. So then he heard the truth, but then he believed. He believed the truth, and then he sent for and sent sent forth to uh to go commission the help for his servant and then he gave them the, the reasoning 
for he loveth his people. For us to stand out here to cry, sigh and cry for all the abominations to run to and fro to the streets, the streets of Jerusalem, that means I love so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. I love my people, man. I do not like the heathens, man. I do not like them at all because they have beat, hurt, scraped, and, 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 and uh, this fucking took advantage of our people. These are inhumane acts. As, as Esau likes to say, he uses that term, term inhumane. You know, acts, that's what these heathens have done unto us, starting with Esau, but it goes not just to, to Esau, it goes down to the Ishmael, uh, Ham, Moab, right. Ammon, etc. They've See, all done some had wild to shit us. to us, man. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> this shit is bad. 
Hey, that, that holds what? Uh, 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 your, um, it has your ID, your medical records, and it has all, it's ultimately used for what? Uh, uh, uh transactions, man. That's correct. Okay? Because, uh, uh, get the next verse. Okay. Get the next verse. But it said it causes all, uh, all, both small and great, meaning your age, our rich and poor, doesn't matter, your, uh, economic status, or if you're a bond, doesn't matter if you're in the prison system or you're walking out here in Right. To receive a, a mark, all right, which that goes into karagma, all right, and that word karagma go, uh, the definition, the definition of that is basically that cut in the flesh that you can insert something into. It. Right. Okay. So, uh, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. So right. Keep going. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Yeah, that word save goes accept. That's what that word uh, means. Save means accept. All right. Except he that have the mark. So you. You can't buy or sell unless you have that, man. That's right. All right. <laughs> and then, and, 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 and we're seeing the the, uh, the destruction of uh, using uh, physical money. All right? right. We're seeing it right before our eyes, man. Hey, let's say, like how your diary was saying, man. You can, you're not, um, you're not even using so much your debit card anymore to, you know, uh, you know, to make the, the uh, transactions and stuff. It's the uh, Apple Pay, the, uh, uh, the 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 Android Pay. That's right. Okay. That's right. Shit, uh, in your iPhones, you got what? It says a, a wallet. That's right. All right, you you got this credit card, that credit card. Right. All right. Right. You know the, this debit card, so on and so forth. You don't even have a goddamn uh, real wallet anymore. It's a digital wallet. That's right. You know, and that's gonna uh, go, uh, lead to, to, to eventually, hey, that that implantable device, man. That's right. Okay. And they, and they already are. Uh, Doing things to condition people's mind to think that turning people or cutting people out of all aspects of society is a plausible punishment for going against what they want to go against. That um that nigga Andrew Tate, when they banned him from social media, I was watching the interview. They didn't know they banned him from social media. He can't use banks in certain countries no more. In England, he locked out of all the banks. In America, he locked out of all the banks. They did that in Canada through all those uh, truck, the uh, truck drivers and all that. Shop, and yeah. they, they, they froze up all their account accounts and yeah. anybody who was associated with that, man. So they don't even, they 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 starting to add that into the, what you think is a just punishment for a criminal. And, and, and so a lot of you, and, and to be honest, you motherfuckers for all that shit anyway. These people oh, are so stupid that they, they'll rather or somebody have to like, and I ain't no criminal or nothing, but if I was going to get sentenced to some shit, I, you just put me to death, nigga. These motherfuckers that say, oh, well, it's, it's better than putting somebody to death. Shit, he just can't do nothing. Hey, must be the, hey, so what you say, uh, some things are worse than death. Right. You know, that's that old saying. Some things are worse than death. That's worse than death, man. Uh, just, you know, hey, hey, will not do anything. Let him just sit in his cell and look at a fucking right. wall on it. Right. Hey, and that's how you know the Lord is coming back kill you niggas and preserve you. That's that. Instead of it being something, and a lot of people gonna get put to death, I'm not saying that's not gonna happen, but instead of certain niggas getting put to death, the Lord gonna get you with some shit like that. Yeah, shit, the scripture said it. Yeah. They, they, they know uh, the uh, captivity to the captivity, All right. you know? All right, and, you know, the scriptures talk about that. And some of you people are gonna be sitting in these FEMA camps about Suffer. getting tortured, suffering, both physically, mentally, just, just completely through, man. And that's your judgment, uh, you know? But, uh, what is it? Uh, I had a definition here, uh, the word acclimate. It says, become accustomed to a new climate or new condition. Yeah, and, that, and that's what they're doing to you people right now. They're, they're getting you adjusted, all right, to their new system, which is all uh, digital, man. That's right. Okay? That's uh, people look at your you know, like you you bring out goddamn dollar bill now, man. They're like, what the hell is that? That's like a relic now, man. Well, they, exactly. got, they don't even take the cash no more, and it's a bar. You gotta steal. These motherfuckers got an ATM in there and don't even take cash. Exactly. Well, they give you that, that's why they be like, oh, man, that's a bar. Who, who, who pays cash anymore? You know what I'm saying? They swap it, man. Like, right. You're holding up the line. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, 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 you go into uh, 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 these, uh, uh, like, uh, these medical buildings, these, uh, institutions and stuff like that and because and, and you know when you go when you go into the workforce basically right you got a lot of people in the workforce and this is this is their attitude 
well, just let them do whatever they want because it's, it's, it's just the best thing anyway, you know, just just go with the flow, you know. Just, do I still get that? Acclimated, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? They've been prepping us a long time, man. Uh, yeah. when, the, uh, when they first start putting the chip, when they first start putting the chip, oh, my God. See, you tap in the uh, credit card, right? Credit card. Uh, and then, hey, man, what about when the credit card came on the scene, man? A lot of you guys don't even remember that, but when the credit card came on the scene, y'all had a time without credit card. Yeah, yeah. But the credit card, when that credit card came on the scene, just think about it, man. Where's the money that's gonna uh, allow for this? It's just uh, yeah. they just start giving teenagers uh, right out of high school oh in college credit oh, cards, man. That's, that's a major man. scam. They, they go and set up on the campus. I went to the campus. Yeah. Yeah, you count. You 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 are all. If you got a nickel every time you see one niggas trying to give you a credit card, man, you'll be rich. Every day, just like how we out here every Saturday, rain, see the snow, them niggas with them credit cards out there offering motherfuckers free pizzas, offering motherfuckers radios. We got a football for you, five hats, uh, all type of gift baskets. Just just sign off on this credit card. And basically, I'm saying they just break, you know, they were breaking this place in half. Right now, they're breaking it, really, they, they about to really break this place in half. Is that uh, you know well, if, not if but when that thing uh, is rolled out when that thing starts rolling out man you're gonna have division in the streets you're gonna have nothing but chaos man because no just like the scripture says no one can buy or sell man you know you sedition of men you're gonna have uh, 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 you, if, if, if you can't buy anything guess what man you're gonna go you're gonna be hungry hey, hey that's why it's important that the brother said uh, to go into the world cause man because he. It's already here, That's right? But Esau is about to cause that on the people, man. And the way he's going to do it is with all his little tricks. The, the, the same thing he did with the other two. The same thing he did with the other two. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he didn't go ahead and say, get over here and right. get me over here. I can stop this. He didn't do that. He said, but well, look, you want to get into this place? You want to go into this yep. stadium? You want to go into this school? Do you want to keep your job? That's right. Uh -huh. Do you want to keep this amenity? He said that you're going to have to get this dicky picky. That's what made it so stupid that you're in the uh, airport, you're six feet apart, and then you get in the plane and you shoulder to shoulder. Yep. Well, shit, you don't have to have, you didn't have to have your, uh, your, your, your face mask on. All right, if you're, as long as you were sitting in a bar and then you don't drink right. it. Right, 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 cool. right. Cool. Right. Right. You remember that meme? When, when you're eating a fourth, you the seat bump. Right. You're in the seat bump right. now. Right. You got 10 seconds to get the transport seat bump. It doesn't, it doesn't, it it doesn't do anything to you when you're eating. Bro, like the silly motherfuckers that do the who walk past us and they're like like this, oh, see us? And then ten feet away. Right. Hey, you gonna go put it on and take it off? Like Apostle was saying, Malcolm was saying it too, a <laughs> uh, couple years back. You got these motherfuckers in a car. Alright, you got the recirculation button on. Nobody's in the car. Nobody's in there. What's no it? other cars on the road. Is that, that Pete Ricky on the goddamn steering wheel, oh, goddammit? Stupid. Wow, these motherfuckers had the kids in the, in the school with the mask on, with the mask, had a mouthful oh, yeah, of like the players. Hey, what's the, don't even say that, because I play instruments. And I used to play the baritone, the trombone, and the piano. I'm a pianist, but I'm a major, but they ain't got no piano on the face. But guess what? I just want to take that horn and say, it's like, that's coming right out the exit. The exit. Yep, yes, Matter of fact, and if you ever know how we do, Sometimes they'll come out the bell if you don't open up the, uh, the spit. Yes, it's a God, spot, God, God, it's a God, spot for yeah, to yeah. let out the saliva that builds up. Open. And, 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 and if you don't know what instruments, if you have a trombone or a baritone, periodically, like oh. when you get a break after you know, the bone, and you get a break in the thing, yes, and then open up the little uh, uh, yep. opening so, 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 so the, the, the saliva can come drop out of there. Otherwise, it's going to come out the, the bell or the flute or whatever. Right? So you playing into an instrument, that's whatever was in your side of you was coming out, man. That, that fucking uh, right. right. That's right. Cool. Man, though, man. 
and all these events that you see, it's designed, it's done for a, a, a reason, man. Okay? Hey, hey this, these things that are happening in Ukraine, all right, that's not by coincidence, all right? You know, uh, uh, these immigrants coming up here, that's not uh, uh, done by coincidence, all right? Hey, the lack of cops out here, that's not done by coincidence. That's right. All right? These things were all designed, man. All right? And it's ultimately to, to do what? To, to, to get that implantable device into the people. That's right. Because what, what Esau wants to do is uh, create so much chaos that they, 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 they're they going to have a solution to everything. Which is right. They, 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 they do good, man. They're going to this is the solution. Because we know who you are. We know who you're at. Okay? And you're able to, uh, we're able to see if you're you know, healthy or not. Okay? We're able to see uh, how much, you know, food, uh, you, you know, you bought or we gave you. No one's going to be scanning. We're going to make sure that you're running the current software. It's not going to take long in the kingdom for the heathens to understand how great we are. And how happy we are that we are ruling them. Proverbs is not a joke, it's not a lie. It's a proverb. The righteous are a joke. When the prophet, the righteous are a joke. People rejoice. That's right. We can rule people more. It, it don't. It don't. And all you have to do is ever had a, a, a teacher who was a really good teacher that made you actually enjoy coming to the fucking class. Let the fucking substitute come in because she be out for a week or two. By the, by the time, by the two or three days, you're like, man, this motherfucking bitch. The fuck out of here! Oh, they don't want to run away. I had some out of here because he's like, man, I can't wait. I can't wait till Michelle Bach come back, Miss Allen come back. And matter of fact, I'm thinking two of my favorite teachers growing up. I remember my first great teacher, Miss Allen, and I remember Miss Allen, and they were cool motherfucking teachers, bro. Fuck Miss Brock, right? Fuck Mr. Kepke or Miss Kepke or what the fuck her name was. Waiting on our teacher to come back? Hey, we waiting on our we teacher. We waiting on our teacher. We waiting on your high-five shit. We waiting on our teacher. That's right. That's right. Because he's the best teacher. Man. And he'll give you that tough love, but you know what the tough love he gives you is? That corrective tough love. That's right. It's that tough love that builds you up. That was speaking Alright? It's that tough love that builds you back up. And corrects you and actually puts you. See, what, what, what makes a good coach, what makes a good uh, uh, teacher, is, that, is someone who labors to you through your shit. You fucking up, and mumbling and fucking up and shit, and, and, and teaching you how to how to navigate even better and better and better. That's that one. That's that one jujitsu trainee who turns out to end up being a black belt. Right? That's that one uh, uh, who seemed like he was gonna be a bum on the basketball court, but end, end up being an all star in the league. All right? When you have a good teacher that labels you, and as um, a matter of fact, was in uh, Second Maccabees. Uh, the, um, the, 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 what the mother said to the children about the, tra the, the troublings of education or something, somebody can do that real quick. Uh, second Matthew 7. Um, but about education, um, it's, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a trial on both parts, on the, on, the, on the student and on the teacher. You gotta have great patience to teach. That's why you have a bunch of shy. It's long to suffer for you, all right? Because it, half the time you're like, man, fuck this motherfucker, all right? I'm told this motherfucker run. Um, Ten steps up, make a slant to the right. That's 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 that's, that's, that's you know the play, the, uh, the whiskey whiskey one on nine. And I keep on telling you this motherfucker every time he runs five steps and he busts left. Are you stupid? <laughs> to the point you said, man, I'm gonna get rid of this nigga. But then the other coach motherfucker ran. Johnny had five apples. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him three apples. Stop saying it again. How many apples he had? Two. Oh motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> Nine months in my womb, and gave thee such three years, and nourished thee, 
and brought thee up unto this age and endured the troubles of education. Endure what? The troubles of education. The Yahweh Shai is enduring the troubles of our education. Alright? 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 Alright?
Okay. It's my daughter, family. Uh, it's a, in the back, though, it's a, you know, the hand 
she gets it in the back, and uh, over time throughout the movie, because she at first it's like a little bit, she's like, oh, you know, it's bothering me, it's irritating me, and then over time, you know, towards the end of the movie, that shit's like, all up and down the back. So y'all, 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 y'all chilling too much. It's hot here. So that's definitely not the movie I was talking about. The point being though is that you know, they show you that in the movie you're like how literally you're damaged to the box, man. You know? That's, that's funny because when you're uh, I had two uh, pet dogs and they were pit bulls and they got in trouble with the city. Uh, so they pound cake came to Tokyo and all this shit, right? And they wanted a triple. Right? Well, they wanted a triple. So the pound came and took them and all this shit, right? And they wanted a triple. I said, this people was on me and said, no, that's how I can go ahead. I had a whole courtroom of uh, people. I said, oh, this other people went here. I walked in the courtroom. I said, "Oh, it's, it's other people in there for you know the same you know, dog shit." All of them were in there for me, for my case. Then I went into the sidebar room, but none of the fucking lawyers were all around. The room. But I don't know if you guys remember, but 87th of the right, uh, uh, Western, a pit bull had mauled the two, uh, the two, uh, the jogger got one of them, and uh, I think it was two of them or something like that. But anyway, my my incident was right after that, and that's why they really. You know, stringent on that, right? But you know, like I said, fear, fear was on me to say, you know, because the, the, the judge wanted to chip him. The only city wanted to chip him. Uh, you know, the only way, the only way I can get him back. I said no. I said, you can't. I said you know, but they did that with my dog, and I let them chip him. Dog like, <laughs> dog was like, okay, I, you can chip him, but not clip his balls. You can chip him, but not clip him. And that's how I got him back the first time. And he got out again, and then it was like, okay, well we clipped him, and now he already chipped. Now you got to clip. Him. I was like, well, that's your dog. That's not my dog. I don't got no help. Because I mock those motherfuckers eating my fucking dogs, man. The meat of my dogs go downtown, man. Weird. Go around and see this motherfucker's got a motherfucking pinky uh, uh, wiener. All right? And, and that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, you look, at a, you look at a regular ass dog that's, and, and, that's got his power. He's got a regular dog penis, man. And, and, and you know them. Like, the, when, when they get, a, when they get hot, they come out there and they, the whole night be sometimes just be hanging. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and these little fucking... They do make them be feminine. They make them soft, they make them down soft, and they make and then they get fat. Right? And they get fat and they get all these other fucking uh yeah, no drive. And then and then they start getting sick. Right? See, and you know a lot of times people don't notice that because they're all the dogs in the vicinity where you live flip. But like my father got a Rottweiler that's not clipped. And you can't take that nigga around dog that's clipped at the dog park. My dog, when I would you. take him to visit my mom before she passed, my, my sister got two dogs, uh, Penny and Zeke. Both of them, um, they wouldn't even give they wouldn't even give my sister the dog unless they, they snip snip them. And I told my sister, don't let them, we gotta go fight them. And she didn't fight it. And so they snip snipped and clipped them. Alright, now you can go try to fight them in the city, but you can't, you're not gonna win. They said the judge ain't going unless they hit you find you a doctor who's gonna say you got a medical case. And in order to do that, you gotta pay the doctor off. I ain't got that to do that, so I didn't do that. And she didn't. So I would take my dog sometimes on a trip. And so now ask me how Penny reacted to him and how Zeke reacted to my dog. You know what I'm saying? She knew that my dog had an active penis, even though she ain't have she she was up there snake. Right? But she fucked with him and Zeke was automatically emasculated and automatically was like, damn. Like goddamn, and he would want to fight my dog. But then at the same time, my dog was like, well, I got my balls, let's go. And so he was like, he felt like like pumped. He literally was pumped to the point my sister was like, man, he don't ever act like this. Why don't I'm like, because he know he ain't got something he got. He was saying he want what he got, and she want what he got. And that was his, and he can't have it. And he like, that's mine. And now it's up, the whole dog world fucked up. How you fuck up the whole dog world? He's up. Looking at him like how if I see a mobile can, I want to put that nigga to death, man. That's how the dogs are reacting, man. When, 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 when these dogs that got his nuts cut off on my man, they, they ready to get they they ready to uh Mike get that Michael Vick spirit. I got a uh, quick one. Psalms 82 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That's, it. That's, That's right. because the Earth is getting into the hands of the wicked. All right. With that being said, everything's all messed up, uh, you know, in the society. Well, uh, good is called evil. Evil is called good. That's right. Okay. They, they'll tell. What do they say? 
of just fix the dog. How is that fixing the uh, uh, an animal? Remember, see, that's the mentality of Esau, man. The Lord made everything perfect, but I'm gonna fix it. And, and the reason why Esau does this, right, is not to control population, right? It's really to like, put it like this, because going back to what you said about the dead, run a while. They, they don't want, like, a, we're, we're just using dogs, right? They're there for protection, man. Okay? Now, uh, uh, male, you know, uh, uh, you know, let's say a Rottweiler, a Mastiff, you know, whatever, you know, Pitbull. You know, they, they, that dog is, you know, strong, okay, got energy. And if, say, if, if, if an intruder comes, all right, into your house, that dog will kill that intruder, man. And see, Esau knows he's going to intrude you very soon, man, right. okay? But he wants everything to be bitch made because he's just, yeah. He wants everything to be bitch made so he can, you know, basically walk all over you. You know? That's right. That's why he and, and, he's, and he's evil, man. And, right. and, and it's also money, too. Yeah, don't, yeah. Forget, don't, don't forget about the money part. Oh, yeah, because well, now we're all the breeders. If we got, if we got 200,000 people in the city, and 100,000 of them got dogs, and I tell you, you got to go chip all your shit. I just, I just made 40 bucks per dog being chipped. And if I got to snip them, I just made another. I could just make me a, a nice, cool several hundred thousand dollars on making sure you clip and snip your shit. He's so goddamn dope, man. Yeah, you gotta chew him up with all type of uh, yeah, vaccines, you know, yeah. and shots and all this other shit. And the medical procedures, yeah, those are, you know, you, you, you try to stay out of pocket for your dog to get fixed like a lot of these Edomites and, and a lot of these women do, man. And that's another thing, women do it because they can't. It's unnatural for a woman to be handling giant German shepherds and bastards and Rottweilers and shit. So these bitches cut the dog's nuts off so that they can easily be handled. Yeah, exactly. When you see a bitch walking around with a big ass war dog, nine times out of ten that dog's nuts are slipping off so that the woman can actually regulate the dog. Because that's like, that, that, a woman having a big dog like that is like trying to hold a lion. This fucking lion will kill you. It don't matter how much you love this lion, it's a lion. And it's the same thing with the dog. And then you know dogs, they'll smell a chick on the rag and that shit will put them in, in, in a urban spirit to kill that bitch. And, and then in the, <coughs> the time that we're living in where we're progressing into, when, when this is stores down, these uh, uh, sea hip is in, in, in full swing and so forth, a lot of these people, they got, they're going to uh, not be able to take care of their dogs or they're going to get killed by because they got the dog got ran into. So you got these dogs that's in the back loose as fuck, they gonna get out, they gonna start forming packs, man. That's right. why Ezekiel, I think the 14th chapter, talks about those four sword judgments, and one of them is the beast. Dogs to tear, okay? That, uh, they gonna start, and see now, the animal kingdom is in way more order than the, the so-called humans, okay? They'll, once those dogs still going, they're going to see each other, they're going to have a little rah 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 Oh, okay, that's the man. All right, you the guy. Okay, what are we doing, boss? And it's not going to take dog. long. A pack of 30, 30 dogs. dogs man, you walk down, imagine walking down the street, seriously, and you see a pack of 30 dogs. You got a yeah. uh, Rottweiler here, a Pitbull here, you know, a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, seen, I've seen it before. Anybody that's been to like a... Uh, no. If, you, if, if you've been to like a Mexico, a uh, Puerto Rico, a Jamaica, Places like that, even in yeah. Florida and, and some parts of the south, you don't see that shit, man. These fucking dogs will be 30 or 40 deep, and and, and you know, <laughs> motherfuckers are getting mauled by dogs right now, man. That that shit happens in a lot of places. Yeah. It's like, like in, in these uh, tropical, where it's hot outside areas, where they don't necessarily give a fuck about rounding up all these dogs because it ain't a big city. You know what I'm saying? Waiting outside, you can take your garbage out, 50 niggas pop up. What's up, bro? <laughs> and, and, and them dogs, they, 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 you thought they would, you thought Fido was, you know, you know, oh, hey, you better do it, do it, do No, that motherfucker, ah. And I'm telling you, the, the dogs, a dog, a dog bite is one of the most vicious bites, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know about it. I know about that. <laughs> I know. I know about that. Oh, yeah. That was I got it in a second, man. That shit, man. That was no joke. No, no, my finger was little. You bet you man. Just threw. My finger right. was done, man. I'm looking, man. Lord, yeah. the Lord's so merciful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shikari got bit by a dog. He'll tell you. Oh, yeah, sure. I, yeah. yeah, I remember. I got bit by a dog when I was a young man at church going into the candy store. They had a candy store at church, and the dog was on the, the landing, and I didn't see his tail. I went to move him. Boom! Like, oh shit! Got me real quick. 
You know what I'm saying? You, know, you don't you don't want to be but you don't want to mess with them damn dogs. <laughs> them dogs. And, it, it, and for real, if you learn to teach, you learn how to fucking take down the dogs. Perfect. You can choke them out the same way you can choke out the people. They got yeah. products as well. And when they on the street, they got they got diseases in their mouth. Rabies, just getting bit. Your fucking limbs were brought off getting bit by one yeah. dog. Yeah. But like Batatula has said, this chick is walking this big ass dog down the street. You would think to get out the way. This big ass dog got his tail between the legs, looking back and forth. Like, hey, you gonna protect me? See, but even then, what's gonna happen is the door's gonna turn the spirit on them dogs. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. hunger is a motherfucker. Yeah, it is. Hunger is a motherfucker. So when that dog gets hungry, you know what? Have you ever seen a dog hungry? He'll be in the alley doing what? His head to the ground like this. Whatever. Get a pack of the motherfuckers. Get a pack of them. And they see you. It's gonna be like who? Huh? And, and, and they know when you go to make that oh, move, no, they like that's fear. And, 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 and they don't run in You can't do that to any animal. Yeah. Yeah. No you, you, the, the, the rule of I don't care if it's a bear or wild, whatever. If you turn your back and start running, you're afraid you will eat it's, 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 the instinct of the animal is to kill you. Right? The best thing you need to do is to try to make yourself you look tall and be more. Like, you look, I'm gonna hurt you because the animal know if they get cut, they might die. Because if it's the run, they don't, if they don't, if especially how deep the cut goes and where to cut at, they might die. The animals, they're very, they, they, they have self-preserving uh, instincts too. But if you don't make yourself present that self too, and you know what you're doing, you're running, you run it, it's your ass, Mr. Post. Yeah, well, if I, if I may, I want to say, you know how we see a person and you can see the fear on him. Yes. You know he's scared, but the animals, they can smell it. They, they, once they look at it, they don't see it like we see it, but they smell the fear brings out a certain sick. And hey, the animals can smell that like fear on you. niggas stink. Yeah, right, they, like you say, you got big niggas, right. Yeah, right, right. right. And, and, and they might just see, they might just see it and smell it. Yeah, yeah might can see but, it and, right. But the thing is, the dogs, dogs and animals, they, they, they're more into the spirit than we are. Yeah, right. See, the most sense that most, most sense that he's once, he ate twice, man perceived it did not. So the Lord been sitting up here, hey yo, don't do this, don't do that. We like, we we cool, cool. And the Lord's like, okay, I told you, I warned you. Right. Right? Now you think the Lord gotta sit there and tell uh, the Leviathan come here? And, and, and Leviathan said, well hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> no. I'm gonna smash this other bitch real quick. This came in my little hole. I'll be back. No! The animal's gonna obey the Lord right, right away. away. Right? Yeah. He's the rest of Come on, man. Yeah, please, sir, please. Oh, get your last precept. Uh, Proverbs 12 and uh, we'll end in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Proverbs 12 and 10 and it reads, Righteous man regarded the light of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. <clears throat> and this, you know, like the brothers are going into, man, this, this, this damn wicked, wicked ass uh, 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 ruler of the earth right now, man, he's on don't care about his damn self, so he damn sure ain't gonna care about an animal. You know, a poor, innocent, a, a dumb animal, man. He's gonna clip him, he's gonna neuter, they have to have the, uh, the, the, the female animals uh, neuter. Man, that's all against the laws, man. You don't do no stuff like that to animals, man. That's right. You know, yeah, any short time left. And they even do it to, uh, the, 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 you know, the humans. You know, this stuff is all, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's inhumane. Yeah. Yeah. Inhumane to, uh, 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 to humans and to animals, man. You know, the thing is, a, a, a man and a woman is supposed to, you know, uh, uh, grow. How can they grow without having children? They can't grow. The That's the growth. The scriptures talk about that these people will multiply, and it wasn't just given unto us, you know, as you know, so-called humans, right? You know, it was actually a commandment to all the creatures when you go into that Genesis, man. Yeah. You know, see, Esau is all about death. He's a thing. Revelation 6 like 4, he can take peace with the earth. See, he was uh, ordained to do these things. He's not supposed to, uh, he wasn't set up to, you know, have peace on this earth. Right? The earth wasn't, you know, supposed to be in tranquility when this, this guy was ruling. They're supposed to be in what? Chaos, confusion, this, you know, destruction, right? That's right. He was multiplied. Yeah, Maccabees, you know? But uh, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another another horse that was red, and power was given to him yep. that sat there on. And it went, that red, that there's that red again. <clears throat> that's Esau representing uh, Esau Edom, right? That's right. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, right? 
And man, mission accomplished, man. This place is not a peaceful place, man. The earth was given to the hands of the wicked, man. So if anybody did a, a lie to this place, look at this place. The Lord said, conform not to this world, man. You, if you conform to this world, you have enmity with the most high, man. You're part of the problem. Yeah, and, part and, of the problem. And you gotta be destroyed. Alright? If you're down with this, man, hey, 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 you're forwarding wickedness. Awesome, Shalom. 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 Hey, hey, I want to see it. Every, we keep getting these drive-by Shalom homes and we drop it. Yeah. This truth is already done. This is why Esau is speeding it up. It's done. It's already it went through the four corners. It's already, it's growing exponentially. If you don't know what exponential, ex, ex, uh, exponential growth is, if, uh, ex, exponential growth is, yeah, this one person, he, he, uh, he recruits uh, one person to, to come into his business. He says, okay, look, you go get another one. He goes get another one. Now it's two under your business. Those two go out and get another one. Now it's four yeah. under your business. Those four go get another one. Now it's eight under your business. Four, eight, 16, 32, 64. Right. And, it's, and now, don't let them go Multiply. get another one. Don't let it be his brother was in there. Oh, then now you get one. I got four. It's this one truth keeps multiplying. You know that the Lord, this truth is growing exponentially. All right, right? And that's the reason why uh, it, it can, you can stop this. Like Yahweh Shai said, man, he tried to put that uh, the spirit of the Lord rocks with Christ. <laughs> well, go ahead. Who was still reading? Right, right. Here. Oh, you was reading. Yeah. Okay. And power was and power was given to him to uh, him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. That's how we know that's Esau because he was um, given that blessing of the sword in Genesis, I think, the twenty-seventh chapter. Yeah, twenty-seventh chapter. All right. All right. Did you have your Isaiah though? This is uh, this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. It says the earth so, also. We'll start up above four, maybe. Uh, it says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Yeah, look at this earth right now. All right, you go not just to you know throughout the city of Chicago. Like, go to the suburbs. All right, go to the rural areas. You got trees dying left and right. Uh, crops not growing, you know, properly. All right, well, the scripture said it though, man. Uh, what's that say? Genesis, where uh, there, uh, it talks about they yield. Yeah, yeah. The, the earth not yielding its, you know, full strength. Okay. Hey, Esau's cursed, man. All right, because why? Hey, the, the, the land is defiled by blood. He uh, doesn't respect the land Sabbath. He uses and abuses everything, you know? That's right. Okay. It says, the world languishes and fadeth away. Yep. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Yes, this right. place is uh, defiled, man. All right. Because he saw Edom's in rulership. Okay. With him being in rulership, he passes his laws, his ways. Okay. You know, and, 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 you know, all these people practice these particular things, man. All right, it's not beneficial. All right, to the earth. No. They close this library at five o'clock. It's always somebody who comes after the time. Right. That's so spiritual. What's going on here? Look out here. We can look out. Opening up this door. Opening up the doorway. Saying, "Come, you know, come in, come in, come in, come one, come all." You know what I'm saying? All so. Come with all Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. See, I knew Jesus like the Beatles. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, and, and don't let me in this program. Oh, man. Your light rights in the front? Man. Man. Uh, man. 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 But it just, I, I marvel that every, every week, there's somebody who tries to come to the library late. Those who listen in on the comment boards, those listening on the YouTubes and so forth. We hear the men of the Lord a great deal story. I don't care what camp it is. They talking about your howl, your howl shy. That's right. You come into this understanding and come into them scriptures and get your ass right. Because the when, when I say the door is closing, we are almost out of here, man. The, the, the stock market is not about to bounce back. Right. They're not going to say, you know what? It's 
not really wise to put the C hip to the chip in somebody's hand. You know what? We're going to scrap that plan. And you know what? We're going to go back to gold. So it's not no returning. The Lord said they would have healed Babylon, but Babylon is not healed. That pipeline is not going to patch itself up. Oh, wait a minute. It ain't going to have no nanobites to go down into the ocean and start sealing it. That pipeline is going to Little mini welders and shit. And closing that shit up. This shit hurt my man on the Paul and Adrian, uh, desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, we're in trouble, folks. <laughs> <laughs> America is in trouble, folks. Hey, man. <laughs> no fucking shit. Sherlock. Sure speak, it's all, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Niggas going to be looking like a motherfucker trying to get Chick-fil-A on Sunday. Motherfuckers be in the car the oh, whole shit. way. Oh, Fixing shit. they mouth, no homo for some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Niggas pull up and the motherfucking lights off, man. <laughs> ain't gonna be no chick for me today, nigga. Man, they gonna go berserk. Man. Bro, it's the, bro, they gonna go drunk, man. Oh. These bitches are going to go crazy with their hot country pearls, man. When they got yeah. damaged, the fucking, fucking uh, now layers. When you, you, you name your, like the scripture says, they shall lament. Someone get that. Lament for the teeth. Yeah, right. right. And that's because that's what they fucking eat. They're definitely not gonna be caring about some goddamn Brussels sprouts. Right. I can see a motherfucker like, no, nah, I don't want the Brussels sprouts. Uh, that's that. That's that. We ain't, ain't got no food, doctor. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, bro, no. Jake is so wicked. I can perceive this happening. Motherfucker ain't got no food. The motherfucker said, look, all I got is an old can of Brussels sprouts. I don't Ooh, want that shit. Ugh. <laughs> 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 that's Jake, bro. <laughs> Why you being so <laughs> healthy? <laughs> Hey, ain't nothing else to eat, bitch. You better eat this motherfucker. I said that in my in my lessons before, man. I, I've said, you know, uh, uh, you know, especially for like brothers, you know, which you know, the spirit is already on that. But the brothers in the community, you know, trusting your children to eating raw foods, man. No, not no damn raw meat. But, you know, <laughs> eating, you know, grains and, and, and food that you're not gonna get at no damn uh, candy store or no restaurant or nothing. Because I've seen, I've literally seen. Eat a meal because it ain't no damn chicken nugget or some fries or something. And imagine the, the, because I don't know how 100 percent true it is, but I've heard that you could be dying of hunger, and if the food if, if the food don't settle right in you, you won't eat it. You'll actually die of hunger because you won't eat that food. That's right. So imagine, yeah. seeing, imagine you having something to eat for your child, and your curse. child won't eat it, and your child dies from hunger, man. That's, That's a heavy curse. Like my brother said, right? He, um, he doesn't really eat, man. And he always wants to eat something. He always wants to eat all that shit. You know? Demon, bro, that shit is a game. Yeah, bro. Right. And what's crazy is, right, we all was talking about you know, my women and shit, and we're like, And his teeth ended up like he had some like crazy like I don't even know what's that right. Literally, mm -hmm. all his teeth uh rotted out. That's what happened to my he, first um, wife. So. He um he had to get like basically veneers, man, and he's fucking four. The, just turned four. That's wow. fucked up. That that happened to my wife's uh, my first wife's son. She had a son before we got together. This like two years ago. And um, I was like, what? This, this, this motherfucker ain't even three. He's sitting right now. <laughs> Standing and he, he had to wait. They didn't get no veneers, but they just waited until his drum was over. He had changed diet for like a family. He had some white council. Yeah. Yeah. And then he went to the hospital. What the fuck are you feeding? You know, he got to eat this, that. Why do women gonna get it, man? Alright. I don't even want to talk about you women, man. I don't fuck with you women anymore, man. You don't fuck with women. Women are fucking wicked as fuck. The only pro, man, like Apostle Tara said back in the day, now I really understand he'll jump over and eat a white kid to a wicked ass nigga. Well, I'm jumping over everybody to get to a wicked ass bitch. That's right. Y'all fucking are responsible. <laughs> right. Y'all responsible for these little kids being fucking wicked. And, and your own wickedness with these children is getting them up to the point where they gotta get veneers at fucking boy. three years old. That nigga got veneers and he recognized as a woman. That shit gay, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, here's the. Bro, that's the shit off this shit, right? They just made that statement because my brother, bro, he, I remember, uh,
Shot his woman 14 times in front of three little children. Yeah. Shot her 14 times, and within six weeks, she's doing an interview. Yeah, Lord, don't kill him. No, he, no, 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 no. No, fuck him because he's a bad shot. Uh, <laughs> the Lord preserved that shit. Oh, oh, man, it's going to be wicked. She said, fuck 50 Cent. I took 14, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it was a nigga. 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 Until I saw that shit. Every said, oh, I want some shrimp. I'm feeling like shrimp now. That bitch wicked as hell, man. Red lobster like a Mickey figure. Oh, they got, hey, speaking of red lobster, what did the other day? Because they do some salmon and steaks and stuff there, too. Uh oh, watch out. Why why go in there and uh, one cake man all by himself, big ass plate of shrimp? Look, walk past, look at me. He's got the little guilty face looking on. He don't even know. Yeah, your hands are motherfucking That nigga's a faggot. Hey, hey, hey. I almost wanted to say something. I almost wanted to say something. I almost wanted to say something. You know, we don't get charged no trouble, so I let it go. All right. It's my lock here, man. That's right, right. This uh, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. It says, Rise up, women that are at ease. Yep. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. That's all you. That's all of you. <laughs> That's even, hey, I even go to the, the, to the so called righteous women, the women who know love and truth. Alright? Because guess what? They still get the Esau's amenities. Oh, yeah. You got a woman who claimed to be in the truth or dealing with a man in the truth, she should be the most humble, the Dang. most. If your woman ain't doing this, when so you walking on, uh, open the door, open the wide. Hi, my lord. <laughs> and damn it, right, so what, 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 what can what, what can I do for you? Would you like your uh, your, your holy penis to clean this right now, my lord? Bitch would you like to be know, Would you like your, you like to be drained, my lord? Would you like uh, <laughs> oh, massage, lord? Like well, how, what can, what can I do for you, my lord? Your woman ain't doing that, she ain't on the level yet. She definitely talking about your hair <laughs> and uh hair head wrap ass bitches, man. You wanna know you wanna know you bitches brother? with these head wraps. Come on, man. How you, you want a real man when you fake as fuck? Make me throw up in my mouth here in the bitch say Charlotte man. Bro, that bitch said it in downtown a couple weeks ago. I bet I'm in uh, Ariella's camp. And uh And a, and, a, and a Jake woman walks past, tall, little gray, you know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? But nice and curvy, like I like it, I like climbing a tree. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, she was a little tall. She was getting my height a little tall. And, um, and, uh, but she was the curvy, the nice curvy, like the hips, but then a thin waist. Like, I was like, like that. And so, and she's like, Shalala. I'm like, we all was like, I don't like them. No, 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 no. I, I was like, uh, I was like, Shalala. I said, you can't go walk past brothers in Shalala. And then, no, I said, are you, uh, I said, you heard? He said, no. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I went over to try to talk to him. He said, how old are you? I said, I'm from 40. And she said, you're not 40, you're older than that. I said, you got gray in your hair. He said, uh, but yes, that's about it. I didn't even hear because that you pissed me off by that time. Because like, why the fuck? Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> because if you was going to say Stella Mom to a man of the Lord, and you ain't got no covering, yo, you know where she should be? Get the covering. To Yahweh Shai without no men, That's motherfucker. Right. That's right. Because no matter how it's set up, if you ain't around no man, the Lord gonna bring a man to you to save you. That's right. You are not coming up on your own fucking volition. You are not some righteous, holy, pious woman doing the will and work of the Lord by your goddamn self. That's right. Still. That's why otherwise Isaiah the fourth chapter will be a lie. Hey. I just don't hey. understand what, what like, Watch out, and everything's all about order, man. Like hey. I, I don't understand why this is such a big fucking deal. Oh, it's like you got order at your job, you got order, you know, and, and, and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Why is it such a big fucking deal, man? You just do everything that your boss or motherfucker that don't give a fuck about you and will replace you with another person in a heartbeat without a problem. But when somebody, when you say you, you think you like him, you think you love him, you want this to be the man in your life when he tells you to do something, it's a fucking problem. Man, look, bitch say Shalom to me, my reply is Shalak Rayon. Get the fuck out of my life. Spell throat go, oh, bitch. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Job 39, 17. Because the Most High God has deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted to her understanding. She doesn't even understand that she knows, uh, I mean, that she needs a covering. She needs a man as a hedge of protection for her, man. A man is going to be a cover from the storm, a cover in the storm from her, man. Yeah. And so what, guess what's happening? The storm of Jacob's trouble, all right? And it's going to be a, a, a horrible storm. The Lord said the, might, the, the righteous are going to be uh, <laughs> taken in a move. And scarcely saying. He said we gonna be we gonna be uh, moved in our spirits, man. That's right. So we gonna be moved now. See, the, the thing is that we ain't gonna be moved to the point of falling out or anything like that. But uh, he said the right. What's, what's the script say? Uh, just to be quoted. Uh, righteous were frightened or something. Can somebody give uh, a frightened? A F F R I G H uh, T. Frightened. Because that's gonna pull it up. And this is gonna happen to the men. And these are men of the Lord. All right. Then what's gonna happen to you, motherfucking simple women, man? Y'all not on no level with the Heavenly Father? At all. Y'all not out, out here risking your life and uh, freedoms to do so week in and week out? <laughs> right? Woo! Revelation 11 and 13 says, At the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, and the remnant were affrighted. The remnant were what? Affrighted. The remnant was just the people who gonna be saved! And they were what? Affrighted. Affrighted. <laughs> there were babies like, oh shit. When we start seeing the power of the Lord, tell me right now that during the time of, 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 of Egypt, when Moses uh, uh, and with the, all those plagues were going down, when they were killing, the Lord was putting the hail and, and putting the darkness and putting the frogs and the blood to water and then and, and the cries at night uh, that, uh, 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 of, them, of the Lord slaughtering the, the, the firstborn of Esau Edom. You think Jake was over there in, 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 in uh, uh, Goshen, uh, up there, you know, and doing it and partying and shit? There was the Passover. And what kind of spirit do, uh, do we have in the Passover to this day? Solomon. Excuse Solomon. me? Solomon. And one more time? Solomon. Solomon's hell, man. It's not the, the time when the Lord, matter of fact, liken it to when your mom and dad, if you had a mom and dad, both of them and not, you got to say that because a lot of us grew up with only our moms or only our dads. Most of us only our moms. What happened when you knew your sister, you know, uh, uh, your sister, uh, Roberta, God damn it, got fucked up in school and, and she's gonna get whipping. You know what I'm saying? You come on, you might at one time, one time saw somebody get in trouble, like, 
You mom was busting and said, get your butt out. Get your butt <laughs> And mama said, Hi. so fun. <laughs> you, well, you didn't come get your girl. You get over here too late. When, you, when, the, when your mama and your daddy are in a spirit of judgment, when your mama and daddy in the spirit of judgment, all right, uh, man, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when your mom and dad in the spirit of judgment, anytime any other kids come around, what's going to happen? They're they going to have to be on there. You better, be, you better have, make sure you empty the garbage. You better make sure you have dotted your um, uh, I's and cross your T's. Because that, that, that might be your ass is on the goddamn when you uh, check uh, on the block. That's right. You getting checked. You know what I'm saying? My his mom and dad, look, man, bro. On the door too. No, no. Four. Ain't <laughs> 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 hey, no more smiling. Now I want to see no teeth. <laughs> the cool's out on my car. <laughs> All right, well, um, did you finish this? Nah, I had some more now. Isaiah. Go ahead, go ahead, and we gonna wrap it up. This Isaiah chapter thirty-two and verse ten. It says, uh, many days and years shall you be troubled. See, that's a perfect example. Many days and years you're going to be troubled. Not just one little chocolate drop just walk past. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you right now. Who, 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 who was she bigger in, in, in out here? Nobody. What chance is she going to have with the little mace bucket in her pocket? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we'll eat that mace shit. Because it's going to clear up in a few. She got I like to just hold you down in a few you until that shit clear up. Especially a man that's enraged, man. Yes. That's being oh, driven I, by his uh, all right, high son or his passion. Or his his passion. By his passion. Uh, you know? No matter what the passion, his passion may be the fuck up. His passion may be the kill up. His passion may be the to eat him. Right. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter because in that day, he might do all the above. She got a six shooter right. and there's ten niggas outside. Exactly. But look, and guess what? Y'all, I, I, I was talking to one girl. She's like, "Yeah, I gotta go to the to the, to the range." And, go ahead and, shit. and my mind, I ain't say shit. I was like, "My mom's like that range. You're gonna help me, bitch." Right. Uh, because, bro, in the heat of the moment, some of your best um, uh, um, uh, 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 sharpshooters, as, as when uh, moving targets and moving and doing all kind of shit in all kind of situations, you're not gonna be able to neck it to make sure that you won't be able to hit your target, right? They trust the guns, they trust the knives, they trust the mace, they trust the 911, alright? All that gonna be done. Go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah chapter 32. It says, Many days and years shall you be troubled, you can't just live in. For the vintage shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. It says, verse 11, Trouble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, you careless ones, strip you and make you bare. Gird sackcloth upon your loins, they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful bonds. So they're going to lament for what? The teats and bucks. They just opened up the joys back. Now the joys over here that was before only had chicken and uh, and like make some sandwiches here and there. But most of the chicken, now these motherfuckers have lobster. These motherfuckers got shrimp and they have this. The whole nine over there. It's like, how about this? You got lamb chops though. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? This is what the bitches eat. That's why they can put a crab shack in a motherfucking hood. Because these bitches can't go eat that abominable shit. It's a delicacy. And the price is on there 20, 30, 20, 30 bucks for a little piece of fucking a, a, a roach, a sea roach. Yeah. Right. And for the record, brother, they all miserable. And that's Revelation. Someone can get it. Revelation uh, was three. He said, don't you know that you're poor? Oh, right. Yeah, can someone get that? Uh, we'll get no help. Nobody else has it. Uh, see, you, 
could, uh, unless you still want to go back to the Carolyn Jones, okay? Because what they don't understand is the Lord set up order from men to women on down, all right? And if you try to be a woman, you take go over a man, like the, the two that just walked past them, what chance in hell they're gonna have against Moses? And I said, Moses, shop All right? And he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna ramp shop on you. Because it's a spirit in man, we have a spirit of the Lord. We're a different creature. Men and women are not the same creature. Okay? If we're the same creature, we both have to and the preach. Okay? Alright? We don't. We have pets and gifts that. You know what I'm saying? So my son is only like a year, year and a half apart from my daughter, and he's already bigger, faster, stronger, he eat more. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, right. <laughs> and, you, and they're already rough. They're tough. We're built that way. We're made up that way. Except man, that. eat like old bananas, man. <laughs> All right, we'll see what that means. You got the revelation? Yeah, you yeah. got the revelation. Yeah, Revelation 3 and 17. Read it all. <clears throat> because thou said, I am rich and increasing with goods and have need of nothing. And know it not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. A, a man, the scripture says, a man on our at his best state is altogether what? Better. So, just because we talk about men being able to dominate a woman, trust me, the Lord said these big mighty men are going to be doing what in these streets in that crying. crying and sitting in the sitting on the ground and perplexed. And, 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 and hands on love like a woman. Like a woman. And when you see a woman, like, I see my sister right now. When she was oh, oh, oh. It's going, bro. That's what. That's the time we're living in, man. So fuck you, wicked ass niggas. Fuck you, wicked ass bitches. Fuck you, heathen. This is a call to the hope of righteous elect. If you're a hope of righteous elect, you will not be offended with these words. Right, that's right. right? Yep. You will not mock with these words. That's right. right. You will sit there and do, um, you'll be listening and following and getting yourself in order. That's right. Right? Now, uh, hey. what does the scripture say? The wise, the righteous, uh, they perceive the evil uh, and hide it themselves. Yeah. 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 And that's it. That, that, that's the third one. That's the key. That, that's right. That. That, that's that. That's wisdom right there. The third one went to go try to. That, 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 the other door didn't open. Why do you think that door? <laughs> See, but no, that's that's spiritual. That, and matter of fact, that's it. don't make the don't make it personal. Don't make it personal. Hey, she try to go to. His reaction was like three, two. Like you didn't see that one other car in the parking lot. Come on. But that's 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 the spirit. The fourth one. That's the fourth person. Try to come on there, and, 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 they, and they come. That's that's indicative of what's happening right now with the spirit. That's why the Lord is making similar to you. That's why we watch. We watch how the spirit moves. Right, and, and, and ran too late. But that's what they're going to happen. Did they, wait a minute. Did, 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 did Noah's golfers run up to the ark? That's why the Lord had to seal it. Right, the Lord had to seal that ark because Noah might have had that tender, you know, tender love and care and mercy. I'm like, oh, is, is, is that is that Roro? -Ro? I mean, okay, Lord, forgive me. I'm going to let Roro in. Roro is cool. He really, he did. He was, he was the only one who really wasn't scoffing me. Even though he scoffed and he didn't come in. But, it, he, you know, <laughs> you know, he brought me lunch and dinner a couple times. Hey, bro, bro, come on. Proverbs 1 and 29, it says, For that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they were none of my reproof. It's like they were none of my fear. He didn't believe that they were saying that the clothes, but he still walked over to the boys, and all four of them made eight of them. He just made it eight. And that's Noah. That was eight. He got a little heart. You know, saying yeah. eight didn't get on. <laughs> eight stands for, I believe it stands for victory. Hey, and that guy, that guy, he passed by here first. Yeah, I know, I saw him. <laughs> this Proverbs 1 and 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel, they despised all my food. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and to deal with their own devices. You see, the Lord is calling out to our people. He says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Hey, we, the Israelite men as well as our women, got to come to repentance, right? But hey, hey, the Lord's hand is stretched out now, but hey, so we're going. So, thank you, don't, 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 don't
get that stretched out and twisted. Yes, there's two sides of me to get your hand stretched out. Yeah. I can help your ass out with a stretched out hand, I can smack you down with a stretched out hand. Lord's been jacking, he said, well, why would Jake be stricken anymore? You revolt more and more. The more the more Messiah been whipping the ass, the more we revolt. But guess what? He's still whipping your ass. I was thinking about um, a particular female in my life and uh, how she, wicked she's been. And, and asked the Lord to put judgments, you know. And since she's been acting wicked, the Lord's been putting judgments. But see, she ain't changed, and he hasn't even changed the whole situation. So sometimes you be like, man, Lord, get her, get her, get her. And then you you really look, the Lord's like, I have to. I fucked up here, I fucked up here, I fucked up there. She wants the, she wants the, she wants the, 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 the All right? The Lord is jacking up the man. You, 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 you have a hard time sleeping at night? You get afflictions in your body? You know, you can tell me about your hip the day. You know what I'm saying? We up, you got to join the club. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My back. All right, you know what I'm saying? We go through these afflictions. You think the Lord's afflicting us and not afflicting them? Right. That's the reason why they going out there to go into the, the hot girl, uh, hot, hot girl, girl front, what do you call it, hot, hot girl, girl summer. summer. You know what they doing that? Because they're empty inside. Yes, sir. They want something, they want that peace all green. They want that perfect man. They want that six figures, six blessings. They want to be with the white man. Right. They want the six figures, they want the six plus inch dick, and they want the uh, yes. and they want the six foot man taller than the six foot man. I saw a little girl I said like I want a tall uh, I want a tall man with hair like this, such white about the bear. These bitches got their fantasies, they looking for their fucking fantasies, man. That's not reality, man. And so they that's why they're fucking miserable. And, they, and and that's why they jump. From man to man to man, hoping to say, is it in him? No. Is it in him? No. Is it in him? No. That's the, by the time they went to one or two men, they already got their mind fucked. That's why you have to follow the scriptures. You gotta follow the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. You gotta come back to your heritage, to your culture. We are the biblical Israelites by blood. We are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the Messiah is about to come get us real soon. If you're a so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, we are God's children. Not these other goddamn heathens. And the Most High is about to destroy all of them for what he's done to us. That's right. And those who don't believe it, the Most High gonna get your ass too. That's right. Wow. So with that, we're gonna say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles out of New York at Great Millstone and GMS. All right? We've been teaching and preaching and, and, and fussing and cussing for 20, 30, 40 plus years. That's right. All right? And honor to all the Akim going around lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, putting their lives on the line, and we get week out to do so, man. Right? And I, I, hey, Shalom to the righteous women. The very, very minute few of you. All, all very, three. Very, very, all very, three. very, very few sisters all as mercy. Yeah, all three of you. And just don't say Shalom back. Just keep quiet. That's right. Just shut the fuck up and leave us alone. God damn it, let you better be humble. God damn it. And, uh, and shallow one to the children man, of, the, of the hopeful righteous elect. Right. The Lord's right. going to save you all too. That's and right. I'm going to say shallow one and the Bible of all. Above above above. Above. Well, the library's closed, but.